So just in the lobby. I'm not, I'm not playing with other people, so that's a that's a that's a no. That's a no. All right, let me uh go back to what the fuck is called. There it is. Audio check. That is not the audio check. Audio check. Hello there. Hello there. Alright, seems to work. Seems to be a little closer to my face, but it works. What are you playing at, streamer? Just play as a character. <coughs> okay. Uh, you know, I've been bothered by this because you guys don't ask for any audio from this game. So let me just turn on one hit to music. And <sighs> hey, it's hey, it's me, Goku. Um, I don't know, man. I I'm gonna turn one hit to audio and test the audio so I make sure it works. I'm gonna turn this on now. Let me go check the audio now. See if the audio is being overwhelmed by just the notion of music. It is really loud. Yeah, it is. It is surprisingly loud. Um, and the music is pretty bad in this game. I <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it off for now. It, I don't know why the music is so bad. And it, it's the only thing that I could really put in that wouldn't be too affectionate towards the stuff, but... Yeah. Meanwhile, while I was doing everything else, I turned to, like, uh, just, you know, do stuff. What was I doing? Well, just do some mediocre stuff to try and get more abilities here and there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Okay. Fighting pose begin you for special combo. I have that move, apparently, and I don't know what it does. Combo, apparently. Mystic Flash. How do I have Mystic Flash? Oh wait, it, it's that move. <laughs> Double Death Slicer. I, I would like to get that move, but at the same time, no. Uh, no, I would not. I, I would not like to get that move. No, thank you. No, no thank you. Super Dragon Fight. Okay, Super Dragon Robot. Mega Man. Death Psycho Bomb. I really want to get this move just because, like, you just want to. That cycle one just sounds like a cool move. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm currently actually trying to up to Super Saiyan. So, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. So, I think I'm going to have to be running Whis a lot more since I have to do that for, you know, the mission interrogation, I think. I, I th is it called interrogation? I, w I wouldn't know. So, here's Goku. Here, here's Turtle Gee Goku too, and here's Vegeta. All right. So I'm just gonna be reflecting on memories today and just talking about stuff. So if you guys are interested in like having a little chat with the streamer, just come on down and let's let's have a chat. Meanwhile, I I'm not gonna turn on any audio to the game because honestly, the music's kind of bad. Gotta say, kind of say it's really bad. The audio on like punching stuff might be cool, but I, I don't think that's the main focus of this. You can hear my buttons tap. That's uh, that is the probably the biggest downside, but it should be fine, right? I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be pushing it here, but boy, it's it's what it is. Meanwhile, I I think I'm going to destroy Mr. Nap and Ra Raduts, Ra Also, I uh, I now have equipped Emperor's Death Beam because reasons and because pew 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 lasers. Would you look at that? We just got out of that attack a little really fast. Uh, what was I talking about? You know, uh, you know. 
There's a lot of things that I don't like from the series. But it, it, it's got really simple combat, and I'll give it that. It's really fun for that, and nothing else, really. Really fun, really nice combat, I gotta say. And then the Kamehameha, like this, is really nice. You know, I'd like to see this uh, type of like combat style integrated more of like an MMORPG, but I also understand that that is probably not very possible due to like, uh, you know, just server management, balancing of abilities, making sure key blasts aren't overwhelming, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, it's, it's just a lot of things that MMORPGs have to focus on. Which, this on like a one-on-one -on -one scale seems to be a really good way to do it. It's just, I get, like, also a thing would be like, if an MMORPG of a video game like this was ever made, I don't think it would be fun because there would just be a lot of grinding. I mean, in the game already, there's just too much grinding, as is. And I, I guess the, the main reason why I always reflect towards MMORPGs probably is the reflection to, like, just world exploring, which is something that I love. That is explored a lot in MMORPGs. Just, uh, just the factor of exploring a world and learning a lot from it is just very appealing to not only me, but a lot of people that enjoy MMORPGs. Like, do you ever hear about, like, the farthest mountains of, like, why, why, why can't I see Ginyu's bulge? So why, why, do I, why am I focusing on that in all things? Man, Ginyu got a sick bulge. <laughs> it's just like when these levels come out, like you, you see the city level, like you, you've seen the city map before, you've seen this place being fought before, and you know how this place is not really much of an area to fight in. You, we all know that. So what about it is so special? I mean, there isn't really anything special. If you explore this area, they, there ain't much. It's not, there's no, like, little secrets here and there. There's no, like, little gems that everyone loves to see about. No, it's just a big city. You can break the building, sure. You can also break the cars, but that's kind of, it's kind of already should be done. But, all right. You know, it's it's not that bad. I don't know, man. It, it just bothers me to no end to just feel like... A lot of games could be taken in a lot of different directions. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of things that you have to think about. Because, like, in a series of video games, there's always the next level. There's always, like, the next thing you could always do. The next, like... The next prodigy you could always perfect in. There, there's always that. There, there's never not that. Think about it. In Gundam, what, what's the main, main aspect everyone focuses on? Um, the fighting of the giant robots, that is not true. It is the war efforts. And the thoughts of, like, how that mentally accumulates against, like, children that are bred to make war. That's how they like to tackle it. And that's how they always like to tackle it. And honestly, I feel it's a bit weak on that front. You can also break hearts, Epic Gamers Unite Federation. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Did that, did, that, did that thing just turn on? I said okay, Boomer. What the fuck? Did you just... Yeah, apparently, like, Google just turned on because I said okay, Boomer. Okay, Chief. <laughs> how did that... I want to know that, though. I want to know, how did that, like, phrase become so offensive? To people. Like, how how did that happen? I, I want to know that. Out of everything I've known about the world, I've not understand how, like, that phrase just became just forever in someone's lingo. How, how does that happen? <laughs> karma fucking karma being protected. <laughs> Are, were you actually offended by me just calling you a boomer? Of all, of all things, I wouldn't think that would offend you. <laughs> I would have personally thought that would just be funny, but no, okay. It has the same impact, they're like, okay, return. What? How? How does that do that? Okay, retard makes like... <laughs> oh, God, now I could see why people get offended by it now. Because, like... It's like, okay, boomer. I didn't expect, like, it's just, okay, retard. I, I certainly did not expect that. It was so unexpected. I did not expect that. I'm sorry. I, I really did not. <laughs> it's just so weird to think about that that is now a phrase. Now, now you'll use it long. 
<laughs> no, I, I didn't really want to use it. I, I just thought it was funny <laughs> to have it. Are you fucking kidding me, Nappa? What is this? <laughs> I, I I didn't know like okay boomer was gonna be like this level of memeing <laughs> cause like I see it all over in my furry discord uh, meme server now, and I see it all over my like RP server and honestly like I'm just astonished for how you would just keep using the phrase okay boomer so regularly like <laughs> stop for fuck's sake why is that thing like recording everything I'm saying I, I, I'm not meaning to say this out loud, alright? I'm not. I'm not. I don't know why it records every, every, Okay, Groover. <laughs> okay, that, that shit is bothering me. It actually is bothering me how much it's just recording everything I'm saying. I'm gonna fucking blitz right now. Where did he... Where the fuck... You can't cancel that move, by the way. Alexa, bye, boomer. Oh, uh, give me, guys, give me a second. I gotta take this. Hola. Okay, boys, I will be right back. I have to help my parents with the groceries, so, uh... BRB, my boy. Uh, an okay boomer. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I've been breathing hard for a little bit because <laughs> I was lifting stuff. But it's okay. Fucking meat weighs a ton. I did not know that. <laughs> I apologize if my heavy breathing is going to get in the way of you people. Yeah, in the stream. <sighs> I thought you got a job interview. No, uh, I had to pick up groceries. I, I thought I said that. What do you mean by job interview? I, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to, but I haven't got one just yet. So, have a, okay, Zoomer. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Are you calling me a Zoomer? I hate Call of Duty. I like like the recent Call of Duty. My brother is probably like level thirty something, and I, I'm just level like fifteen because I really don't play that, and I don't play it very happy. When you called, I mean, no, I. <laughs> I didn't get called by a company. I, I got called by my mother. The Vic of Sun Girl Series. Just that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, Zoomer hipster. I'm going to hate on popular stuff. Hey, all right. Hipster is probably the best title I, I could probably observably get. Mostly because I don't care about the title. <laughs> and it's a funny title, too. I mean, like... <laughs> Papo, okay. Peepa Papo hipster. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, boys. You know, I wanted to talk about something specifically on this stream. So, I, I know a lot of people are going to be, like, divisive on this little topic, but I really like to talk about it. I really would like to talk about it since it's been, like, an impactful thing on my life, and I'd like to see if you guys feel the same way about this item. So, let let me bring it up onto the table. Let me pull out my gun and ju just tell you, boys, you're dead. No. Oh, what I'm trying to say is that I'm a gamer. No, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. Uh, the Wii, or, or the GameCube, whichever both of those two. Which which one of those two consoles has been the most impactful in your people's lives? Like, how, Which one has been the most impactful piece of software you've ever used in your entire life that you just love using, or you just weren't indifferent of, or your opinions in general about the system? The GameCube. All right, I can see why. The Smash Brothers. Cough, Smash Brothers, cough, cough. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, yes. Destroy the junk, man. Do the transformation and do the the polymorph. Okay. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> um, well, well, like, I, I don't know much about the GameCube. I have played a lot of games on it. It's just that it's not been my favorite console because, I mostly because I just hate Mario Sunshine. The controller was great. Like the controller, I'm not gonna knock down. I use it on the Wii a lot, so like I'm not I'm not one to knock down something like that. But like I fucking up horridly hated using the GameCube just because like titles that like were clearly unoptimized for the thing. Pikmin, uh, I I tried playing Pikmin on GameCube and it, it was not fun. <laughs> like aiming that. Stuff was like, it was like a challenge on itself. Like, I played it on Wii, and it was just so much better. Like, the Wii version is just so much better. I, I even tried using a GameCube controller with it, and it was just, it was so bad. I <laughs> like the Wii controller. But, like, I understand why the GameCube is, like, an influential console that people enjoy. I mean, I loved playing Beautiful Joe uh, 2 on it, but I, I would have rather liked to play it on uh, PlayStation 2, honestly. But uh, I, I still played it, and I, I still had fun. Never grew up with the Genesis. I usually played Sonic games on it. Oh, I, I've never played a Sonic game on my GameCube. I I, I tried. I, I like I tried looking for a uh, Sonic Adventure, so I can play it on the GameCube or like Sonic Heroes. But like when I saw the games, it was just yeah. But it's just Shadow. Like I already played Shadow, and I and I don't want to play like another Sonic game because the Sonic games are not very fun for me. What I find fun is like a nice platformer, or, like a beat 'em up with platformer elements. I like platformers. I don't know. They're, they're a lot of fun. Just because they got they got their little special sandwiches here and there. Emperor Death Beam. Pew, 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 pew. Can I switch targets? You can't switch targets mid combo. What is this? I never grew up with a Genesis. The Sega Genesis? Or uh, I'm, we're talking about the GameCube and the Wii, my boy. I, I didn't know uh, about a Genesis. Is there a Genesis? I, if there is, I don't know about it. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Mr. Captain Ginyu, it's time to die. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Boomer. <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, I, I just... Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just never had fun with, like, a Sega console. Yeah, I would think about that. I wasn't really talking about the Se the Genesis. I was more talking about just games on the GameCube that were Sonic games. I never played Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. I, I, it didn't matter. I, I never played a Sonic 3D game because I, I already played Shadow and I thought that was enough. Or, like, I, I just liked... I, I think I was in my teens during that time. So I was more, like, into, like, nitty-gritty stuff at the time. Because, you know, that age, that demographic. I, I was those boys. I was that demographic that wanted the... Just purely have that stuff, like, open to me. And that's what I wanted. That's, that's what, what this gamer wanted. I was playing the Sonic Games Collection. I actually have that on my PSP. Yeah, I actually bought, like, the the PSP version of that, and I, I had a lot of fun on it. I think I bought it twice, actually. I might have bought it, like, on another console, like, maybe PS3 or PS2. Maybe PS2, I'm not sure. But I, I think I bought it twice on the PSP. Like, I mean, I mean actually twice, because I... First, I, I had one PSP when I was a kid. Then I had a second PSP. That PSP was gone. I, I never saw that PSP again. So when I got the, my second PSP and I d got that same game again, I just had some had a blast, like playing Shinobi again. Not play the Sonic games. I really don't care much for the Sonic games. I really don't. It came with Sonic X Special, I think. I on the GameCube game, that's what I said. Sonic games. Oh, so there was like a special collection on the like the, the stuff. I I did not know that. Well, now I do, and uh. It's a little weird, but I, I guess I'll take that. That's what it is, I would guess. Do the, do the fireball. Do the fireball. I'm, I'm just tossing fireballs, boys. Just, my name is Fireball Man. I throw fireballs. Okay. Okay, Boomer. Time, time to slow down. Okay, Boomer? Okay, Boomer. Neat. I never heard of that thing on the GameCube. I would have to look into that. It, it seems interesting. It seems actually very interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I would have to look into that. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's been a Death Stranding now. It's a weird game, but it feels rewarding. I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I honestly, like, I, I, I went, I'm like on the, on the premises right here of like, uh, I'm on like, I'm still on the backlash of Mighty Number no. 9. Like, I, I'm still here thinking that like, mm, video game made by one director, mm, smells like turd to me. Smells like a doo-doo sandwich just really to be made. Ooh, stinky. Fucking smelly. What is this? Ew. The fuck? Ew, smelly. Poo poo doo doo. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm i just I'm just in this like bound state. I'm gonna wait till the reviews come out. I wanna wait till people like say like Kojima is a god. This game is godly. And anyone who like de defiles his name will, will die by my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for those fanboys to talk like that. I'm just, I'm just waiting. I, I want to see those fanboys defend the living hell out of that series just because how much they love their their love and maker, Mr. Kojima. I, I just, I just want to see that. I just desperately want to see that. Did, did I just not get hit there? What the fuck? I mean, uh, to be honest, it might be the greatest game in the world. I, I might be like here just. Being a dummy and not getting it for the reasons I don't know of, but like I, 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 I just, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting until people like say like, "Oh, it's so great, guys! You should definitely play it." Or like, I guess what I am waiting for is just, "Hey, it's it's awesome game. Play video game." I don't know. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that doggone review. 
Oh, I, I don't care about, like, game cycles or, like, other stuff like that. Because if it's supposed to be made by Kojima, like, I'm expecting that. I'm constantly under a worried scale that, like, something might happen. Some creature might attack me and... This might be the end of my run completely, and I have to load back to my save that I didn't save for like 15 years. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And and this is like a really bad hopefully, so uh, take this with a grain of salt. Hopefully there is no auto saving in that stranding, because if there is auto saving, it, it kind of knocks down the whole Kojima of peel. Because like if there is auto, is there checkpoints? Yes, I, I would I would like accept that, but I I do not want like um. I don't want, like, legitimate... Oh, my... Give me a second here. I had something in my throat. Okay. Oh, that's, that felt gross. That felt really gross. Oh... Okay, uh, what was I talking about? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. So, streamer, why do, you don't, why do you not want there to be, like, autosaving in a game like that? That's really big and a giant open world at that. Because, like, if, if it's Kojima, I want, like, small, like, linear levels that are just constantly making you question what's happening. Or, like, how does this impact the story? Or, what is this place? Why am I here? Or, like, what type of military unit is this a part of? Or something, stuff like that. That's what I liked about... Kojima games, they always, like, make you feel like the, the area you're in is supposed to be a part of the story somehow. But with this new open world that I'm seeing in Death Stranding, I really don't understand how that would be much of appreciated. Like, it's just a big land that people live in. Yeah, and, like, some of the creatures live in here sometimes. Not all of them, but most of them. I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep, like, a happy demeanor on this because I, I want it to do good. I want, like, a really fun game to play whenever I, like, get a PS4 or a PS5 or something like that. I just I just want to be happy with like the new stuff that's coming out. It's just I'm just skeptical because I don't want to have like a too happy a demeanor or just be disappointed. I've been disappointed by games before. Uh, like here's some examples: Mafia Three. I was severely disappointed after like the love I, and I like the appeal I saw about Mafia Two, and how many people like enjoyed that, even though it was like just a run of the mill third person shooter. It had a lot of story behind its belt, and it had a lot of like, character behind its creation, and and it just felt amazing. And then we have Mafia 3, which is just cookie cutter. Just just cookie cutter. And then, like, there was, uh, there was, like, a few games, actually. Watch Dogs. I was expecting, like, Assassin's Creed climbing up buildings and hacking stuff would make stuff, like, feel like the world's being immersed. And then I was just disappointed. Mighty Number no. 9, thank, thank God I didn't buy that, because I, I was on that train to say, like, hey, it's going to be a great game. It's Mighty Number no. 9. It's going to be a great game. But uh, then, yeah, it was not a great game. It was definitely one of the worst games that I've seen in passing years. It, it, it's not... It's, it, it's not terrible, but it, it's not something that would be, like, worthy of, like, a Mega Man successor. Like, it's a, it's a nice game uh, if you're playing, like, in 2002 and the latest release of, like, the Mega Man games hasn't come out, so this is, like, the closest thing you'll ever get. Or, like, Mega Man Legends came out and that was not for you or something like that. But uh, then, then we have, like, other games that have just been disappointing, such as Destiny 1, Destiny 2... I mean, like, I, I bought Destiny 1 day one because I thought, like, th this is going to be the game that's going to be, like, holding me over forever. Ten year plan? Dude, it doesn't matter. Ten years? I, I don't care. I'm not going to be playing this game for ten years. But if it think it can hold my attention for ten long years, god damn it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the hell out of this game, buy all the DLC, and uh, th there goes the story. Okay, uh, is the end game fun? These drops are really small. Oh. The drops are bad. Okay. Uh, well, I, can I uh, can I have some fun? Mi oh. Th there are no missions. It's just repetitive things on the... Okay. Destiny 2 will fix all this, right? Yeah, it did. The story was disappointing. Severely. 
I mean, it, it's just been growing. This constant hatred I have for video games, which people, like, do not care about making fun video games anymore. I mean, it was revitalized once I actually bought, like, Rayman Legends. I, I was, like... This is how games, especially platformers, are supposed to be. They're so much fun. Look at this. This is a platformer that's fun. What, what do I need in my life other than a fun platformer to have, like, a fun-ass time? There was soccer. There was competitions at the end of the day. It was just, it was just fantastic. It was so great. Gracias, Madre. I mean, my boys, I'm not trying to be like your boomer grandpa that's telling you, like, don't play any new games because they're bad. Rayman's from Ubisoft, one of the worst companies in the world. And yet, it's just such a great game. Rayman Legends is amazing. Rayman Origins is also amazing. And that's the game that predates it. Rayman Legends, it like, expands the initial, like, property deal that we already have. And it's just so much fun. How, how could you ever not have fun with, like, Rayman Legends? And it was just, it was amazing. The leaderboards, the collections, the, like, platforming, the, like, musical challenges, the pushbacks to, like, make me do, like, the most I can do in a quest, finding all the little secrets, looking up guides, because, I, like, I really wanted 100% the game. It, it just made me feel, like, extremely happy. To play a game like that much fun. It was just so much fun. But then um, then I bought Assassin's Creed 3 and I was like, okay, I finished the story and well, the game was extremely easy and repetitive, so why, why would I continue playing this? Then I like bought more games on the, my PS3, like um, I guess another one would be like GTA 5. No, that was my brother probably. I was disappointed with that completely. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do in a game where just endless repeat of nothing? And especially the multiplayer was just like, ugh, I don't know. Like, I am so sorry, guys. I'm sorry if I'm so negative. But there are good games. I just keep playing the bad ones. I don't know why. I just... It's what I gotta do. It's just... I don't have any fun games to play these days. I play TF2 almost like weekly on my computer just because i got nothing to do and tf2 isn't that fun what is fun is like killing people with scout but anything else is just just a shooter played overwatch with my like my boyfriend and he's just constantly like no the game is not fun the overwatch has been a disappointment since the beginning they already released overwatch too so like it shows how much of a long run that game series had what is that like two years Two or three years of, like, life as a property. Meanwhile, we have TF2 that's been running for ten years. And it's just... It gave everyone the ability to, like, edit the game. Somewhat. Not not fully. And it's, it's still living. Why, why couldn't Overwatch do that? Why can't we have, like, a... Like, a, a Battle.net workshop that we could just add stuff to, like, this... Why? I mean, you have the tools. You are Blizzard. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. And this is why I can't play newer video games. Because I'm constantly skeptical. Like, unless I know the series and I love it to my death's heart and I'm willing to die emotionally because the series might be bad this one time. I mean, if, if a series is bad one time, I'll, I'll, I'll take that blow. I'll, I'll take it to the nuts. I'll, I'll take as many blows to the nuts as possible. What happened? I just got back. Wow, I've been talking to a wall this entire day. Well, thank you, uh, so I, I've been talking about how much I hate newer video games. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I was talking to nothing this entire time. <laughs> Sorry, though, someone called me. It, it's fine. I, I was just saying how much, like, newer video games is just... It, it's just been a constant disappointment every single day. I don't play newer video games. They're just not fun. That's why I look into indie titles. I called him. Okay. Times four. Epic. I mean... Alright guys, I want you guys to tell me, what's the newest game you've ever bought? 
that you sincerely thought that it was just better than any other game you've bought in the past. Like, I, I want, like, an actual... <laughs> I want actual talks here about, like, a video game you've bought in your yesteryear that, like, is still holds up comparatively to games you have these days. Like, tell me any game that you love now. Like, I, I think a game like that would be Doom, probably. It holds up better than, like, the old Dooms, probably, if you don't really are an interest in the old Dooms, and you kind of like the new Doom stuff, and it's got a multiplayer section, like, it might be fun for you, if, if you like the newer Doom stuff. And it might hold up, like, a candle to the old Dooms. Might. It's up to you. Don't buy games. I want an answer, my boy. I'm not, I'm not talking. <laughs> what, what, hold up. What, what are you trying to say? I, I wanted you to tell me, like, is there a game that you found really fun this day and age, comparatively to the old days? Like, is there, like, a game that beats your favorite Final Fantasy game? Is there, like, a game that, uh, I don't know, just answer the question. It, it's all, I just wanted you to answer a question on it. I just want that. And if there's not, like, it's perfectly fine. You could just answer with, I like Dragon Quest XI a lot. There you go. I'm not an RPG nerd, but I, I could know quality from quality. So, like, if we compare Dragon Quest XI to, like, a, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII, would you like Dragon Quest XI better or equally? Or, like, I guess Final Fantasy VII is just, like, a cliche, so I don't know if that's your favorite. Final Fantasy VI? Or, uh... Final Fantasy 3 in America's on the NES. Uh, Final Fantasy 3 in America. Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. FF6, pretty much, is what I'm saying. Or, um, maybe Final Fantasy, not 14, uh, 10? I, I don't know. Like, does Dragon Quest XI hold up comparatively to the Final Fantasy universe that you played when you were a kid? Cock. Cocksucker? Uh, if you were supposed to spell cocksucker, man, I'm just. That is a strange name, but uh, you should already know I am pretty fond of licking my, my own, licking some penis from day to day. Like, don't worry about that, my boy. You could say DQ11 is like an old game, so people, it still holds up. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not asking those other people, my boy. What I want to know is, like, personally, you, I, I, I personally want to know, how do you feel about, like, Dragon Quest XI comparative to the other games that you've played in your life? How does that thing hold up comparatively to, um, I don't know. We would have to only compare it to RPGs, because, like, RPG is the standard here for uh, doing this uh, bit. My name is spelled conk sucker, which can mean sucking dick or sucking coke. Okay. I, I mean, like, whatever, whatever you enjoy, my boy, I think I share the same love for uh, penis as you do. But yeah, my boy, just, do you think, like, in all your personal love for the series, do you personally think that game is just, it, it, it always compares ba badly compared to the other games, or is it always better? Or, like, maybe it's equally the same. I, I just want to know, like, your opinion on it. But you share the same amount of love for your own penis? No. My, my penis is too small, I can't even lick it. My boy, I, I don't think I can even see my dick. It's that small, my boy. It, we're talking about a really tiny micro dick. We, we, we're talk, why are we talking about this? It's a, it's a, that's a better thing to say. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> Jeez. Depends on what you're looking for, I guess. Yeah, I, I can see why that argument works. But I, I just want to know personally from you. Like, if I compared uh, Dragon Quest XI, I'm going to compare it to a game. So, like, prepare yourself for this. I want you to tell me. Uh, with all your heart, be honest. Final Fantasy VII, comparatively to Dragon Quest XI. Uh, then, then let me compare it another again. Uh, Mega Man X Command Mission, compared to Dragon Quest XI. Another game would be, uh, I guess, uh, Fire Emblem Three House, uh, Fire Emblem, just in general, uh, the old Fire Emblem games or something like that, uh, compared it to Dragon Quest XI. I, I want to know your opinion on that series. Like, is Dragon Quest XI better or less than that? Quest XI for me. 
versus fine with this stuff. So Dragon Land Eleven is better. Or, uh, or Eleven is better for you. I see. You are the one that started with dicks. Yes, it is. That is, oh, that was me. Bill Gates' dick is micro and it's soft. Neat. <laughs> My Microsoft penis. It's me, guys. It's Bill Gates here with my Microsoft penis. Very well. I shall return time. Oh, no. I've been reflocked, dude. Oh, no. My favorite types of games is hard to compare. I mostly play roguelikes, and most of them are, have huge differences. Yeah, I'm guessing on the titles here, Binding of Isaac, and if not Binding of Isaac, I'm going to guess, because uh, uh, if we're talking like old roguelikes, I have not seen really many old roguelikes, other than Final Fantasy VII. No, no not Final Fantasy VII, I mean, uh, I mean, I think like quest, like dungeon games, where you play like a 3D dungeon and you're just walking around in this empty place. Isaac, Gungeon, Nuclear Throne. Yeah, I was gonna say all those three games, but I was gonna say that that's, that's probably too, like, narrow of a choice, but it seems that that's the thing. Risk of Rain, maybe? Yeah, I would see that, too. I mean, if we're going down that route... Uh, 20XX. Spelunky, obviously, yeah, I know that. That shit is so... People play Spelunky so much, it's like, there's like a competitive scene for it on YouTube, it seems. Crypto the Neko Dancer. Now that one's a niche title. That that is a niche title. I, I have not seen many YouTubers play that game. I, I have not really seen much love for that series. Slay the Spire is another one. It, it's a card game roguelike, but still roguelike. It's a great title. Yeah. It is a niche thing though. I wonder how Risk of Rain 2 is now. Uh they added new characters. I, I know that. I, I still have it on my PC. I could probably still play it. If I could let my PC to run somehow without blue screening. <clears throat> I forgot we played in alpha. Yeah, we did. It, it was just uh, it, it's been it's been what it is. It's it, it's done its work. I would say. But, like. Here's the thing I don't understand a lot about Rogue Likes. Rogue Legacy is also oh, great. Yeah. He got me on that one. You got me on that one. That, that was a bit, yeah. I mean, copy, copy Castlevania as much as you want. It's not my cup of tea. Castlevania on, in general is not really a fun game for me. I, I, I tried playing Symphony of the Night, alright? I tried playing Symphony of the Night. It was not fun. Okay, it was fun, but like... It was weird, alright? It It was weird. It was weird. <laughs> Catching with that symphony of the night. <sighs> but, like, what I don't like about all these roguelikes is, like, 20XX that never gets any recognition for just being so much fun. Or maybe because people don't like a Mega Man game that's a roguelike. I, I don't understand that. I really have fun with it myself. We're scaled by the cannon. Yeah. I don't want, like, a... The one thing I do not want is, like, legitimate people just saying, like, Oh, my character is so strong. He can compare to Goku. Look at him destroy worlds and break dimensions just because he's super cool. I, I, hate, I hate to see that in teens, man. It's just... Constant power scaling and just the playground. Ugh. I mean, we already got, like, if we're talking about Xenoverse in general, we already got the universe where, like, we can have triple six fusions. And, like, that's, that's like, two people that are already fused, fusing with, like, a big party of six. Like, like it just becomes insane the amount of fusions people come up with. And I don't know why. It, they just become, like, actual gods. And it's just so weird to look at. It's just, what the actual... I think it's, like, Dragon Ball Heroes or something. What they call it, I'm not sure. I mean, Goku's kind of low in the power chart if you look at the whole DBZ unit. Yeah. He, he, Goku's kind of low, gotta say. Like, if we got, like, six fusion over here, like, TN, with, like, several different versions of Gogeta, all the angels of God's success. Yeah. 
And I've seen fusions. I, I've seen fusions of, like, Beerus with Whis. I've seen that. And, like, those fuse into other stuff. I'm like, this just becomes insane. Like, oh, my God. That's why I don't like... That's why I, I like, strictly am not a fan of Dragon Ball. This game has no ground. It, it has sky. And, and it's endless. But well, you can't even see the floor. I mean, Farmer with Shotgun is probably the strongest character in the entire Dragon Ball universe. And they don't even dare fuse with him. Because that sky is still going up high. I can barely see the ground from all the way up here. Fusion with Zeno and Zeno. Uh, like, it's just like, why? That's my question. Like, just... Can we, can we just have, like, a game where, like, this boy is just the person that can jump really big and... He could just shoot balls of fire or something. I don't know. Like, I miss those simpler, like, fighting days where it's just, like, a simple video game. Not much to, like, complicate yourself with. There's, there's nothing, like... Like, oh, his power is super strong. Oh, I took a punch in the face. But that guy's smiling? Uh -uh. And, like, the predictable nature just makes me feel like he's just... It's a joke, right? It's all of a joke. Why would you combine your omnipotent character with himself? It doesn't make any sense. I know, but, like, the sky's the limit, right? And that sky seems endless. Uh, that, that sky seems like it hasn't ended for a long, long while, I gotta, I gotta say. That boy just killed him immediately, by the way. Bro, Broly just literally killed that man. Broly just literally killed that man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Saitama is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Omnitians was Omnitians is just... I don't know, man. Like, I, I understand, like, the... Because I, I, I like the thoughts of, like, having something powerful. But what I don't want is something powerful becoming overwhelming. And constantly. Like... Let me give you an example. So, we I have... I'll make you a character. This character is a small dragon that has the ability to throw fire breath. We'll say that. He's a small little dragon that does that, but he's not that strong. He can shoot fire breath, though. He, he's really strong, but he cannot do much. He's really weak in that aspect. Because he's just, he's just a little dragon that can shoot fire. So, let me, let me fuse this dragon with another dragon. And this dragon can shoot ice breath. And now it's a fire and ice dragon, because it could shoot two types of breaths. And it seems cool, right? Yeah, yeah, it seems like it's balanced. It seems like they're not so overpowered, right? Alright, uh, now we're on season 15, and my character has the power of every elemental breath, has the ability to move at a light speed, has the ability to change the world's gravity at, at his will, he has the power to destroy the world in one little snap, and he has eyes that whenever he sees you, he gives you paralysis. He, he just actually just gives you paralysis, just by him looking at you. How does this work? We've been at this for 15 season rounds already. We've been running for this for too long. I think the limits have already been surpassed. We clearly have no end to this. Kaioken times 100 Super Saiyan Blue King Murder Omnipotent. That's what I'm talking about. Like, let, let a series die. Like, I understand, like, video games, yes. And, like, storytelling, yes. But let that give it to the fans, man. G give that to the fans. Let them come up with this crazy stuff. Like, let a series die. That, that's that's my, my, propo like, my proposal. When you're running a series for so long, kind of like South Park, like right now, they're sick of making the damn show. I, I think they're kind of sick of making that damn show. It's been running for years. It's been running for years. And they, they have to keep pulling out stops because what's well, going to stop them? But money. Yeah, but money. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always that. It's always, but the money, though. But, like, make another original series. Like, it, it could reflect the same thing. It, it could have the same characters. You just have to start back from zero. It's kind of what JoJo does. JoJo always starts back at zero whenever it does a, a universe reset. Or, like, a character reset. Giorno Giovanna, completely different from uh, Jotaro. He cannot stop time. He just is a Mary Sue that has the power to do anything at any time. Uh, Joseph Joestar... He has the ability to destroy the Pillar Man. Something powerful than vampires. But at the same time, he's trying to channel his hormone energy. And he's a novice, and he's trying to do his best at it. I ain't gonna watch it, 
It has perfect power scaling. It knows when to kill off a character and start a new universe, in a sense. Like the first JoJo, like baby's beginner hormone. The second JoJo, completely new hormone, completely new training, completely new stakes. Uh, JoJo 3, like stands, that's new. JoJo 4, uh, mi murder mystery. That, that's completely new. It's nothing that we have seen. And also the character is not strong. He just has the power to heal stuff. Jojo Part 5, that, that one's debatable, because he is a Mary Sue. Jojo Part 6, we're not going to talk about that. Jojo Part 7, a freaking Western. A Western, and it's fun. Part 8, I haven't read it. <laughs> I haven't read Part 8 yet. Hmm. This boy knows. This boy knows. Alright. Kong Sucker, I'm giving you a, th a thumbs up on that one. That that's my boy right there. He knows quality. This, this boy knows quality. He said Josuke is the best. He knows quality. He knows it. Look at him. He said Josuke is the best. That's how you know this boy knows the JoJo's. He knows which is the good JoJo. Best JoJo. 10 out of 10 JoJo. Josuke is best Joe, bro. Okuyasu, best Joe, bro. Hey, Josuke. <laughs> hey, Josuke. I just pulled out my toes from under my feet and erased them. So now I'm, I don't have any feet. So look. I'm no shoe yasu. <laughs> no shoe yasu. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Part four is the best part, man. It, it's got memes. It's got, it's got Okuyasu. It's got Ki Koichi, man. <laughs> well, like, I, I understand why he's not like a really good, powerful house because he's ninety. <laughs> the dude's fucking ninety. He he. <laughs> He's old. He's crippled, man. He's he's like debilitating under his diseases, man. He has Hamon. Hamon doesn't keep you young. It keeps you looking young. It keeps you looking young. It doesn't actually keep you young. And also, this is Joseph we're talking about. The same guy that literally... <laughs> that literally pulled out a machine gun. In an open storehouse and expected not to shoot anyone with it. The same guy. That comes up with random shit anywhere out of his ass. And also, the same guy that is so full of himself when he was a kid. He still thinks he's full of himself as an adult. Oh, BRP. <laughs> he's also a JoJo. Yeah, but like, he's 19. <laughs> he's really old. He's got debilitating like... You've got cardiac arrest of some sort. I don't know. This boy is old. Give this boy like a pillow. He needs to nap. This boy needs some sleep. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> Back, right I am. Yes. <coughs> oh, dear. I mean, this is why I don't really watch anime in general. Unless they're, like, about real people. No, no, no. I, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say. Uh, unless they're, like, a part, like, of people that are just normal. I, I just want normal people. I just want my animes to be a, of normal people. That's what I want. I want like an anime where there's nothing special about the character. And he's just trying to fit in. <laughs> it makes me have like a connection with the boy. He's just trying to fit in. He's trying to be a normal man. But then like he has to use the superpowers to defend like the people he loves. But he doesn't like to use them because it hurts other people. A slice of life anime's in. Yeah, but I don't want, like, those freaking animes that just quote other animes for some reason. Or, like, animes that are just a kid going to school. I don't want that. I want some action. 
some enjoyment. I mean, that's why I don't like Gundams. Scree. That Hamon doesn't keep you younger. The person's lifestyle oriented around it. It keeps the person younger physically. I just want normal people. I just want anime. Like, here's the thing. Like, JoJo is just, like, we're talking about JoJo characters. Like, dude, dude. It's why I like JoJo. The people are just trying to, like, compete with their real lives. They're not trying to be, like, gods of death or anything like that. And when people are trying to be gods of death in the JoJo universe, they're just, they're not being able to do that. Because the other guys had to snap them into reality. Like, no. Excuse me, but you do not have the power to destroy the world. I, I do, but I'm still not going to destroy the world, though. I don't feel like it. Romance? I hate romance, man. I fucking hate romance novels. What is... Dude, I'm a virgin. Do you think I love romance novels or something? I think I can make my own porn more than like I would read a romance novels. <laughs> I fucking hate romance novels. <laughs> Woo. It's just that I just want an anime that feels grounded, but not too grounded, because I want some like fiction to go with my like dinner. Well, that works. <laughs> not have the power to destroy the world. Co couldn't Killer Queen just run through the world, <laughs> run through, run the world, running the things at a couple meters, something into a bomb and basically nuke the city? Um, yeah, I, no, no, uh, his, his bombs are limited. I think, no, wait, L let me try to define this. Killer Queen's explosives are based on the target size, I think. So, no, no. Okay, I, I, I think I understand what they're supposed to be. Killer, bomb, Killer Queen's bombs are things that are supposed to be deleters, they, they are like uh, the hand, but they're explosive abilities. They're not used to kill people. They're not, they're not used to kill people. They're used to erase people from existence. And it's like an actual erasement that destroys their body completely. That's how I think Killer Queen's bombs work. He destroys stuff. That's how he can like destroy a lock in a bag, destroy a person's body and no like shapes flat, destroy the entire rest of someone's body and just keep the hand... And, like, yeah, his ability is to watch uh, ghost stories. And I probably would like to like, watch a ghost story of some sorts. But, like, his bombs are based on to destroy something. If he's trying to destroy the world, I don't think he will be able to do that because the world is already created about multiple things. So he have to destroy multiple trees, multiple sidewalks, uh, different types of, like, gravel everywhere. I mean... His explosions cause no damage to anything around him, unless they're from Sheer Heart Attack. Sheer Heart Attack is a different type of bomb that focuses on only destruction. So that's a different type of bomb, completely. Meanwhile, uh, uh, the third bomb, which is uh, uh, Bites of Dust, is most, more focused on like repetitive explosions, which is based on triggering a landmine on people. Kind of like that. So yeah, his bombs really couldn't like destroy the world. His bombs are more like to cover up death. And it reflects the character like that too. Because his character is mostly focused on making sure that he lives a quiet life. And no one finds out about his crimes. That, that's the big thing about his stand. His life is dependent on what the stand turns into. So if he wants to be a criminal that kills people and like violates their hands for no reason that he just has to have a thing that erases like the evidence and that evidence eraser is killer queen it won't erase like um like groups of people because i don't think uh, killer queen has that power and if he does have that power well i think he would just be an unstoppable serial killer and he would have done it in the first place earlier but he just wants to live a quiet life committing serial murders after serial murders so he's not really looking out of the way to try to kill the entire town he's trying to keep quiet in a sense. Yo, God, I really want to forget about him licking the dead hand. Uh, 
Hello there, uh, Saux. Well, welcome to the stream. But yeah, it, it, it's not it's not because like I'm trying to give you him some justices. It's because the Jojo universe works like that. So, why does Jorno focus on his abilities to be like uh, giving life to stuff and helping people out by bringing the life into things? Because his ability is supposed to help the people he loves, but hurt the people he hates. So, it, it's nature, but also that same nature can hurt the people that try to touch with it. Because it reflects the stance on that kind of stuff. Why does it work like that? Because that's how it works. He, he wants to protect the people he loves. So, he hates his mother, he hates his father, but he, li he loves the gangster work, and he loves the people he lives with. He hates drugs, so he's going to fight against it as much as he can. But making sure he can still save the people that he loves the most. That, that's why his ability is based on that kind of stuff. Why Josuke's ability is a healing thing is because the guy is not a fighter. He's a delinquent. He's not going to go out of his way to go kill someone. Because he thinks everyone deserves a chance. Even the worst of people deserve a chance. But when you're Kira, I, I don't think you have much us of a chance. He will, will literally break your skull because he's killed multiple people. He has led to people's deaths in his family, or people that he loved to be death, like um, uh, Shichi? Uh, I forgot what his name is. He's like the... I forgot what his name is. Unless they insult his hair. Yeah, then, then he just goes berserk, because like, he's angry. You insulted my hair. No! But yeah. I mean, that's why I like stands. Because they reflect on what the people feel. Um, so, like, in part three, we have stands that are make, make like, adult children. So we got, what is that guy's name? I forget what that guy's name is. But he, like, people, uh, like, think, that guy's a pedophile, isn't he? And it's probably right. He acts like a pedophile. He loves torturing and killing kids. So he's literally the monster character. He's a literal monster. He turns someone into a fetus. So his stand replicates that. It's something disgusting and it's something horrifying to see. Because it is really horrifying to see something happen like that. Joe, um, Jonathan, oh, uh, what is what it is. Who would win, Zeno with Infinity Gauntlet or Josuke that gets insulted? <laughs> he would be too angry to die. <laughs> He, he he would just be too angry to die. He can't die because he's just too angry. <laughs> you think you can get rid of me that easily? I can't die. I'm too angry to die. What do you think this is? The real world? No, man. I'm about to destroy this damn planet. <laughs> okay, I, I got a new move. Okay, let me look at a... You blast, there it is. It's called Death Psycho Bomb. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Death Psycho Bomb. Capture the opponent with a psychic power and attack them. Trap them that will appear moving towards. Okay. Guess we'll do that one. Wait, isn't there like a, an attack called Ill Flash? I'm looking for an attack called Ill Flash. I got Ill Bomber, Atomic Blast, Key of Collection. It's my dog outside. It's really loud. She is really loud. Boo ball. Okay. Atomic blast. Atomic blast. I'll do this one. And when he died, he falls back from heaven and beats the others up as a ghost. Yes. I mean, like, that's what I want in a universe. Like, give someone a power, but it reflects how their kindness goes in another angle. I like that in series, because it reflects on the character's life, it reflects on the character's love towards other people, and if, or should they, have another chance. Like, think about it this way. My char we'll call this character Steve or something. Steve is a guy that works a 9-to-5 job, he has nothing else in his life, but he has the ability to um, just turn something clean. That's all he can do. So what does he do with this ability? Absolutely nothing. He didn't know about it. But he soon learns about it when he starts, like, spilling coffee on himself. And he just, like, taps his pants and goes, like, oh, it looks clean. And then the guy becomes, like, an extra cleaner. 
But then, uh, then the ability becomes more powerful. We'll go with, like, Steve gradually becomes more powerful with his ability. Instead of cleaning, he starts, like, wiping stuff from, re from reality. Or, like, they get transported somewhere else or something like that. So he has the ability to, like, wipe stuff out. And he, and he thinks to himself, like, what? I don't remember doing this. This is too powerful. I can't do a cleaning job like this. And, like, it later becomes that he just becomes far too powerful, and then people with, like, similar abilities try to hunt him down. A guy that can turn, a, I don't know, a gun into a plant, and that same plant can become a mo I don't know. I'm just coming up with ideas here. The size of genitalia. How would that help you? Come blast. <laughs> Mid-fight, come blast. Your opponent will be too, too distracted by you just holding your dick. And would just say, like, hold up. Uh, well, am I supposed to fight that? <laughs> Why am I supposed to fight that? Oh my god, okay. I'm getting attacked, like, a lot. Why isn't my friends doing anything? I don't know. So I have Death Psycho Bomb. So let me see. Okay, I uh, really hate this mission right now. Why is Gohan so P? I don't know. Neat. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm slowed and also poisoned. <laughs> come, come, come. <laughs> come, blast, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, why is Gohan like such a fucking pansy, man? What is this? What is this shit? Come on! Stop abusing your stamina! I want to use this move more better. Because <laughs> I think I could probably use this move in a combo wise. Ooh, does a uh, decent damage, I would say. It can be comboed into it, which is pretty good. <laughs> I popped him like a Krillin. Okay, I, I couldn't make my dicks. Literally, it would crush my opponent's ability. Also useful in a daily life. It is probably not useful in a daily life. Are you kidding? That is probably the worst thing you could have as an ability. I, I certainly think that would be the worst ability you would ever give yourself. It's like you're literally just giving yourself a huge dick size for no reason. But all right. I kind of just want to see how this ability works, man. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, hold up. Come on. Leave me out of this, Goku. Oh, it like back hits. I didn't know that. It does decent damage. I mean, I don't think it does more damage than this. Yeah, that, that still does more damage. But uh, it's like a good combo in. It, it I don't think I'll be using it. I think I would like Ill Flash just a lot better. I, I don't know how to get Ill Flash. If you guys know how to get Ill Flash, I'd like to know about that. It's a good combo extender, though. What was I doing? <laughs> I'm in that of... I could penetrate the earth... <laughs> I, I don't think we, people would be wondering if you're inevitable or not. I think people would more be wondering, like, will you ever stop using your cock for evil? Oh, come on. There. Oh, what the hell, really? He just, like, already got up. You shouldn't be working. But I'm just gonna get a fit. Okay. Oops. 
Alright, who are we fighting now? What? Excuse me, what? Excuse me? I I thought I was just playing a video game. Why I gotta fight Go Go Cheat? What is this? Alright, hold up. Ah He just has green health too. Okay. Gamer. <laughs> okay, boomer. I can't really hit him with this, can I? What's the range on this? I don't know. Is it good range? I would hope so. Why why did it target down there? This thing is terrible, man. I, I hate like trying to use this in a combo wise. Like it oh it worked? Okay. I mean it, it's it sort of works. Why is it still like in a in a I don't know. I'll use my cock for the powers. <laughs> Evil Chodas so no one would stop me would have to touch it. <laughs> I mean what I'm trying to say more is just like I don't know how that would reflect on a JoJo universe of all things, but it's fine. Like you got you got ideas. I am not gonna diss you because you got ideas for this. It, it's fine. It's just it's a bit weird. It's a, it's a tiny bit weird, gotta say. Shooting lasers is really fun. I could just increase the size of a few centimeters. I mean, I just got a small dick, so I don't got to worry about that. I just got to worry about being, being rejected constantly whenever I've been... Whenever I take my partner to bed. Because I have a small penis. That's all I have to worry about. <laughs> just have a little bigger dick. Was the, is a little big planet or something? <laughs> little big dick? It's, it's, the sequ it's the sexual sequel to Little Big Planet. Little big dick. It's the sequel to Little... <laughs> it just sounds like a bad idea. But I guess you want to feel the pain. Okay, good. Is he just back? Alright. What? Why is he still back here? What, what? I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish here. Also, why is Goten still here? I don't understand why Goten is still here. But alright. Gamer time. <laughs> Vagina. You don't have to worry about the size of your dick if you if you're gay and talking in it. Wait, talking inside your dick? What wait, hold up. Wait. I, I think I'm confused. What do you mean talking inside your dick? What is this? This is like that weird joke that people say like I'm sucking my, my friend's dick and just hides inside of his foreskin for some reason, like Read the fucking thing again. You don't have to worry about the size of your dick if you are okay and taking it in. Oh, I see. <laughs> I read that wrong. Eyes in the foreskin. No. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Yeah. I kind of just wanted to talk about like random topics today, but it seems like we already derailed off JoJo. Um, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what to talk about in all general. But, uh, <laughs> I sincerely don't know. Um, hey guys, have you heard about the one with the, with the gamer? <laughs> Dragon burn. This is like a cool move. We can we can talk about JoJo. No, it's not that I don't want to talk about JoJo. It's more like we should probably talk about other topics to like let people come in. You know, like you know, um, I don't really want to talk about sports, but like that's something people like to talk about, and uh, I, I still don't want to talk about it. So we're not going to talk about sports because I really don't care. I really don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hate sports, too. We're going to talk, and talk about dongs and vaginas. I mean, I already talked about that enough on my roleplay server, so I don't think we should probably do any more of that. Also, if you want to be a, t a patch to my, like, Discord server, that's, that's not the roleplay server I have, but, like, I do have a Discord if you're interested in that. There's a link on the bottom, or you could put exclamation point Discord in the chat if you want to join my Discord. It's all up to you. Not necessary. Already done. Oh, thank you. 
Welcome to the Discord, my boy. Mr. Goku, it's time for you to die. Time to punch you into a kick, into a slam, into a laser, into... <laughs> and then Goku died. Very impressive. You have my attention. No, you do not. I'm speed. I did it like 10 minutes ago. I didn't know you knew about it. A lot of people don't know I have a Discord. And they just like think that uh, just have like a streamer thing. I mean, I have a Discord for, like, one reason and one reason only. Because, like, I like to talk to the people that come to my streams. Not, not much else, honestly, because it, it's just a place to hang out. It's, it's all I have the place for. I don't really have it to, like, push ideas on other stuff or, like, learn about new stuff. Or maybe, like, post ideas to, like, video games or, put, like, connect to other streamers or that. It's just, it's just a chill place to talk with. I don't, I don't really like people using it for as a platform to, like advertise their own streams unless i know them very like closely then then sure I, I will let that happen it's just i i really like to use my platform for like just me in general if you want me like to, to support you I'll, I'll do whatever i can to help you guys out i just don't think it's probably the best thing to do it on a furry server like a furry that doesn't have much attention in general from other any of his friends unless they notice you Talk about lesbian sex. Uh, Omi fingered Goku. That's nice. It's nice to watch, especially from a tree. Unless they notice you. It's nice. Talk about lesbian sex. Um, I, I gotta... Uh, well, if you want me to talk about something about lesbian sexualism, uh, just... I, I, I really can't say much about lesbian stuff. Because they, ha they have a relationship that's mostly based around love instead of more sexual pleasures. I would think it would be more about love. I, I'm, I'm not sure if, like, that's the bigger thing. Like, maybe, like, um, people that have the same gender of love, they probably play differently with their feelings of sorts. But that's all to them. That's just nothing to do with me. I, like, I really don't care about people's sexuality. As long as they, like, don't force it on other people, it's perfectly fine. I, I hope, like, they don't force it on other people, because it's nothing to force on. Are you gay? Yes. Yes, I am. Myself, uh, I don't like forcing homosexuality on people, but I am, uh, openly. If, if you're curious why I am, uh, because, like, I just don't have much happiness with women in general. A lesbian threesome. I, uh... uh that is a strange topic that I don't really like to touch on, because it, it, it gives me a bit of a weird vibe. The notice about, like, having multiple people in one relationship, or, like, a polymorphous relationship. It's not because, like, I find it to be weird. It's more that I just don't understand it. Why do I still have this move? Gohan, why are you actually so fast? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let me look at chat again. Uh, just asked, because a lot of furries are gay. That That's a stigma, but it's a stigma that's too true. I, I would like to say, like, personally, like, that's, that's not really true, because a lot of people are straight in the furry community, but... <laughs> like, let's all be honest here. Like... I've been a furry for six years. At, at this point, I've been a furry for six years. I think I know if the entire community is not really that c combined towards sucking the dicks. At, at this point, I, I like there's jokes about straight furries, all right? There are memes about straight furries. There's people making fun of people that think they are straight furries. And when people find out that the person they're dating is actually a femboy, not an actual chick with a flat chest, oh, who who would know that? Who would know that? And I don't know why. It's just because it's an open community. It's why the Greeks were okay with like a. It's it's like personally why the Greeks, in all general statements, they just loved each other because they didn't care enough for, like, forcing the idea of like. I I guess the word is. 
I, I don't know what the word is. But like, what the actual hell is wrong with this person? What do you think about chemicals in the water turning the frogs gay? I, I think religion is a joke. That's, that's what I think. Other than that, nothing much. I mean, if if we're already like worrying about how frog sexualities are, I I think we already have a problem if we're not focusing on like already in the savanna how uh, monkeys are already having like polymorphous uh, relationships and also lions are now uh, mating with other males because they think it's fine. And it also increases the price defense because two males are better than just one male. And the two males get along and they even like do some stuff behind the bush. And these are lions, by the way. These are actual lions. No, I'm not joking about that. Seals often rape penguins. Well, yeah, because like the nature is fucking scary, man. N nature is scary, man. It, it, it's, it's legitimately scary. It, it happens. It's... It's freaking terrifying. <laughs> and, and if it becomes so terrifying that you can't really like like it because of its terrifying nature, it's just what happens, my boy. It happens like that. It, it's gotta be that way. I mean, I, I see. We we already know about the dolphins using dead fish corpses as like masturbation in, implements. Like, we don't know what whales do. Because I, I don't know what whales do with their brain capacity, what they do with, like, their dicks whenever they're bored. But they also release, like, a truckload of semen into the water. And I'm not joking about that. They actually do re release, like, an actual truckload of semen into the water. But uh, it's, it's just nature, man. Na nature's scary. It, it's got its flavors. It's got its uh, bad and good. It's got its stuff. I mean... Seals rip penguins, people say, is bad, but I do throw me to, to the zoo. I mean, it's more that, like, what, what can we do about nature? We can't do anything about nature. What we can do is just, like, try to help each other as a humanity species and as a, knowl a, no a knowledgeable species as well. So we know that we should probably focus and worry about these little factors here and there. Because if we if we worry about this, then we will know like what to expect later. Because we're talking about it, and we're making sure that we understand that these are dangers that we face in the daily life. We make sure about that. Meanwhile, species like the seal and the penguin can't do that because their species are dumb and they don't have ability to have a society, or like grow a life with other people or make a wrong rational relationship. The elephants, yes, they can probably teach their young about respecting other people and making sure to live in their ways and do all that kind of stuff. But the elephant is not, and it's not going to come into that d decision anytime soon. I can guarantee you that they are not coming to that decision anytime soon. Later on, maybe, but not anytime soon. We can kill everything with a global warming. Yeah, that's also a thing. No, actually, no, we can't. We, we, we cannot do that. Because uh, let me, let me tell you some little something about um, the polar bear. So, Everyone thought the polar bear was going to be extinct. And it is. It, it is going extinct. But because of interbreeding with other animals, we have now the grizzly polar bear. The polar bear that can live in the forest of Canada. It's a grizzly bear with white coat. And it's a part of the, the polar bear franchise because they were inbreeding. And now we have a new species of polar bear because of that. Insects are starting to rise up because of that, so we can't really kill insects off because the global warming increases, making insects more viable. And um, uh, more of the amphibious bills are going to have to be like more terrestrial because like they need to. You, you know where I get this information from? If you understand what I'm saying, like yes, because you know better. That that is literally what I'm saying. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, don't 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 screw your cat. You know better. You should probably not screw your cat.
I mean, <laughs> but what if I'm, <laughs> what if my GM has a cat? <laughs> I, I know that would probably be true, but I, I'm just saying, don't do it because you'll get a disease and you'll spread like the new AIDS to other people. How did we get AIDS? We got it from screwing cows. How do we get mad cow disease? Someone thought it would be funny to keep screwing cows. How did we get herpes? Someone thought it would be funny to go screw a few pigs. How do we get most of our sexually transmitted diseases? We screwed some sheep. Why did we do that? Because people are idiots. And now, because people thought it was okay to sleep with the people that are screwing the animals, we now have this, that disease everywhere. Why do we know better not to screw animals? It's because of shit like that. Because if we keep doing that, we're going to become a disease just infatuated with sexual orientation. And no one will be, feel like safe with doing sex. That's why we got condoms. It's why we created condoms. To avoid stuff like this from happening. But people don't use them. Because they think it would just be safer and a lot more pleasurable if you go in bare. And it is true. It is a lot more pleasurable. But at the same time, now, now you got AIDS. Congratulations. Took a well and get a new disease. Yeah, you do you, my butt. <laughs> you do you. I'm just saying, like, like it, it's, it happens. I don't know what to do about it. People are really retarded, but they do what they want. And uh, it, it surely kills people. A lot of people. At least the death of multiple people, probably. Where is, uh, where's this dragon attack? I don't think I have it. It's probably under here. I, ooh, it's nowhere to be found. I, I just got a new attack, didn't I? I? Is it an evasive? It is an evasive. Okay. Okay. Do you say no homo after fucking a male animal? No, I, I think you just get, like, I think you just get herpes if you do that. I mean, just welcome to the club of herpes, my boy. Can I take your order? Because it seems like you already got a few. <laughs> I mean, you just... I, I don't know what to say, man. You got herpes. <laughs> That's what you got now. But what if I can use a condom? You still got herpes. We're talking about animals here. You know how deep that condom goes? I mean, it might shield your dick, but what about the rest of your genitalia? It might just jump on because you just touched its asshole. You might get, like, dis dis dysentery or gonorrhea. Like, it, it ain't got no hole. You're, you're going to get some, some form of gonorrhea. Hello there, o Omar the uh, God King. Welcome to the stream. I can use a trash bag. So then why why even bother with the animal then? Just just buy like a pocket pussy from the internet that they sell for like decently. And you won't get a disease out of that unless you keep using it and you don't wash it. I mean, we got we got an entire site for furries called Bad Dragon. They got different types of dildos for like any type of species. Do you think they don't have like um, like species specific pocket pussies? Po pocket pussies? You think that? We're furries for God's sakes. Most of them are, be are like committing bestiality. I don't condone it, but there they are. They sell them in Bad Dragon. Just buy them from there. to wash those oh well you're supposed to leave the cum inside and like let it reek 
this 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 ain't like a this ain't like a pony thing, my boy. This ain't like a pony jar full of cum, my boy. It's you're supposed to wash those. I don't know, man. People just make them. They made Dragondale those, dude. I, I don't... Like I said, I don't condone the use of a Dragon Dildo, but if you want to experience something that could be quote-unquote mythical for you, go for it. Go for it. You spend the money. You spend that $3,000 for like a single dildo that'll probably last you like about a week at most. I, I Like, dude, we're furries. We're already disgusting. Well, I, most of us are. I, I don't know much about the furry community or... How they feel about dildos in general. But that's just them, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I don't condone the use of, like, um, animal-related items. Because one day you're, you're just condoning yourself to, like, just want to do it in yourself. Because, I don't know, you're that insane for some reason. I don't know. Just, just be cautious that there are dangers of, like, stuff like that. Like, porn in general just is a danger. I mean, look, look at my, look at, look at myself, like, look, I'm playing games on the internet. I've been watching porn for all day, and I'm already desensitized to just porn in general. So I understand how this is, like, just becoming a, like, an issue. Yeah, we're done. What did I walk into? I'm gonna buy a, an ogre dildo for my GF. Well, if she wants that, go ahead, my boy. It's all up to you. Oh, I already got the attack. I'm not, no, I have the... What did I walk into? You walked into a great stream. Welcome here, my boy. Let me give you a pat on the back. But yeah, it's just it's just a stream. No, nothing really much more. Sane Spirit. Oh, I really want this ability. It's from Bardock. <laughs> it's really strong if you got, like, beam abilities, too. Alright, give your boy a second here. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I mean, guys, if you really want to talk about sexual stuff, just pop onto my server, man. No, 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 don't do that. Actually, don't do that. If you really want to talk about sexual stuff on stream, uh, just go visit another stream. Because, like, if, if we got to talk about sexual stuff on this stream all day, I, I think we would get bored out of, like, anything. I mean, I'm, I'm just brutally honest when it comes to this stuff, because... I, I, I've heard a lot of misconceptions everywhere, and it's just, just dumb to think like it's something else different. Sex is just sex, dude. There's nothing too sacred about it, and it's just boring at the end of the day. There's nothing much to it. It's just, it exists, it's boring, and it's not that entertaining, in all honesty, because it just exists. I mean, I don't have fun thinking about it. I don't have fun, like, role-playing it. It's just what I do to pass the time and just masturbate. It's, it's just what I got. Nothing really important about it at all. But then, well, like, I, I really wanted to talk about, like, more video gamey stuff. Like, video games you played in your life that you thought were a lot of fun. Video games that you played in your time that you thought was going to be a lot of fun. I don't know. Anything, really. I, I'm not really picky when it comes to this kind of stuff.
Like, uh, I don't know. What was the first, like, fighting game you ever played? That's that's always a good topic. Because it just exists, in honesty. I don't really play a lot of fighting games myself. Mortal Kombat X? That was the first fighting game you ever played? Oh, wait. Are, are you, like, um... You're you're not like fifteen, are you? Because if you are, like I'm not I'm not gonna mock you for it. It's just I, I never seen someone so young playing a fighting game and Mortal Kombat X of all things. So you, 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 that was not your first fighting game. Like I, I'm I'm still here waiting. <laughs> I don't think like Dragon Ball Budokai or Dragon Ball Budokai Two or Dragon Ball Budokai Three. I'm legally allowed to consume alcohol. Yeah, it's fine. It's just... I, I did not expect your first fighting game to be that of all things. Like, did you not count, like, Dragon Ball as a fighting game? Did you not count, like, a... What did you not count as a fighting game when you were a kid? Because there, there's a lot of games that are just fighting games. If you don't know what they are, I could probably explain them for you. I never played those games. I really can't believe that. But uh, if you're saying so, like you say so. <sighs> I, I, I like. Have you not played like beat 'em ups before that like made you inspired to like to try a fighting game out, or have you ever really not played a fighting game until Mortal Kombat X? Like, did you not try? Mo Most of them are pretty expensive. Oh yeah, that is true. Yeah, that that is a that is a true statement he's saying. A lot of fighting games back in the day were really expensive. I remember seeing like um I remember seeing on the store like uh super what is it called? Dragon Ball? No. It was not Dragon Ball. It was Dragon Ball. No, why am I saying Dragon Ball? Street Fighter 4. It was like $40. And I was I was just looking at that and I was saying, "What is that? Why is that $40?" And there was, like, a Super on the other side. Like, Super is just the entire... Well, yeah, he's he's not kidding. Fighting games are expensive. I don't know why they are, but they are. For some reason, they're always, like, super expensive. And I don't know why. They just are. I, I sincerely want to know why, but they just are really expensive. I wish I could know why they would actually be that expensive, but they just get like that. It be like that sometimes, and and I guess Mortal Kombat X is just like a fuller game, so it seems like a better idea to play something like that. Also, my country currency is pretty weak, so like the percentage of the monthly earned to spend is a few times higher in most countries. Hmm. I see. Yeah, uh, in like the inflation and manipulation of currencies is not really that manageable within the. I see. Don't worry, I understand. No, like I'm not. I'm just saying that. Just, uh... There we go. View the view. Why is Gokhan here? Excuse me? And why is Goku level 3 here? Hi, I want to fight in Xenoverse. Uh, do you have the Xbox One version of Xenoverse? This is not on PC, this is on uh, Xbox One. If, if you have that, then I'll, I'll surely play you if you want to. And cheat games, a lot of replayability. Oh, it, it's fine, I'm just... There are a lot of, like, indie uh, fighting games if you're interested in, too. Like Skullgirls, um... Well, there is a lot, I just don't, don't, I can't really get many on mine at the moment. Forget myself, honestly. Yes, I have an Xbox One. Oh, neat. Uh, just uh, post your name in the chat and I'll add you later. Then we can just play a few rounds. Uh, I'm mostly just playing this to just like pass the time and have some chat with my boys on the chat. So if, you, if you're interested in to play video games, I, I'll, I'll, I'll perfectly accept your, I, I guess, quote-unquote challenge. I mean, if you want it. It's all up to you, buddy. Are we going to the moon or something? Where are we going? The glacier. Uh, okay. 
It's the same as my Twitch name. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see if I can find that then. Give your boy a moment while I look this up. Okay. Let's see. T D M G O sixty four. Okay. There it is. Oh, you're a Pokemon fan. All right. There you go, boy. I didn't know you were a Pokemon fan. I personally don't have much like strong feelings towards Pokemon, but if if you like the series, like I'm not gonna blame you for it. It's it's a fun series. I would think it would be a fun series. Uh, I enjoy the series probably. I, I would probably enjoy the series. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, my guy. I, I would say like um, try some stuff out with like some indie fighting games because they're fun. If you want to try those out. I mean, if you're not into, like, a fierce button commands, I don't recommend it because it's going to take a lot out of you. It's definitely going to take a lot out of you. If you're not prepared for, like, putting in combos, I, I recommend not getting into it because it, it will tear you apart. It will actually tear you apart. I'm going to win, Rainy. I... My boy, we're not playing, like, a competitive game. Don't worry about it. Like, If you're concerned about, like, just playing me for the sake of, like, having some uh, back chatter or like something like that, just don't worry about it, my boy. I, I'm, I'm just a friend. I'm not, I'm not here to be a, mon be a, be a spooky guy. I'm just, I'm just a casual guy. I'm just, I'm just a casual boy doing the casual stuff, you know. I'm not, not really here to be competitive of any sort. I mean, I'm, I'm running like Emperor's Death Beam. It's not that good. I'm not concerned. No, not concerned, my boy. I'm, I'm more like... I think the better word for it is, like, uh, ready for, like, a war or something. I'm, I'm not that good at video games, so don't worry about it. You'll probably win all of them. I'm just probably saying this now. I really need to get that ability, Saiyan Spirit. It would be fun to use that. Ugh. Oh, jeez, my spine. Oh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a good... I mean, do you like fighting games? That's a bigger thing I should probably ask, Mr. Sucker. Because um, if you really like fighting games, I would take a look into Skullgirls. Mostly because it works kind of like SNK. And SNK is like a fighting series that's more dedicated towards like multiple battles, but you only get one round for character. I don't know. It, it, it's very combo-based, I gotta say that. I don't know. MKX is supposed fun to beat up my sister. Alright, well, if you're more like playing a casual fighting game, probably don't look into Skullgirls. It, it is a good game, and it is cool to support the creators, but at the same time, it's, uh, just, eh, just, like, stick to casual play. Like, go play, like, uh, Brawl on the Wii. That, that's a really fun fighting game to play uh, just uh, casually. And I like playing that game, because it, it was fun. You know why? Because I like Brawl, alright? I like Brawl. Project M was fun. And I like playing, like, competitive Ivysaur. I, I, I was fun. But, um... In general, that's not what I care for in a fighting game. I just wanted to have fun, in general. Good, I'm gonna play with my friend. Uh, see you later. Uh, I was about to open up the match. <laughs> I, I was... I... I... I was gonna, I was gonna open up the match if you were interested, but okay. If you're, uh, <laughs> uh okay, if you're not interested, I'll just, uh, just continue playing the PQs then. Uh, okay. That was fast, All right? Uh, okay, I'll just go do the PQs then. <laughs> I, I was gonna open up the match to do this guy, but all right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just. I, I was just like, ooh, okay. 
I didn't expect that to be that fast, in a sense. I really want to get the same spirit ability. That was just weird. A little bit. It's fine. But I gotta ask, my boy. What, what is your favorite type of video game genre? Like, what do you enjoy the most in a video game? Or what do you find that you want in a video game a lot? Do you know it? Or do you, do you still wonder about it? Like, what do, you, what do you look for in a video game? Is there something specific that you want in a video game? Depends on the genre. All right, platformer. Go. If it's an, F, if it's an SPS. Uh, mobility. Ooh. Ooh. I, 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 see what you, I see what you got there, all right? I, I see what type of, like, jokes you're playing at. And these are some funny jokes. Also, that makes me kind of laugh. Because a, a lot of games don't have mobility these days. Platformer, interesting design. Uh, I, can we talk about that? Like, can we actually talk about that? I want to talk about that. So, a lot of platformers, and I gotta say, a lot of platformers have no mobility whatsoever. Why? I don't know. It's just, they don't. I don't know why. There's so many games out there that have, like, awesome mobility for characters. TF2, Scout has a double jump. Most of the characters in TF2 can, like, crouch jump and, like, walk around really easily without, like, much issue. When you get shot, you don't get, like, a speed debuff. No, you just move normally. Nothing really bothers you. Because you're just a normal person. Talking to TF2, rocket jumping is so much fun. There you go. Like, we got engineers that got, like, rocket jumping with sentries. We got pyros using rockets to jump. Or just using the thruster pack. Or, or not that in general. Just firing people off into the distance. Like, it... There's so much fun that can be had with, like, mobilities and shooters. But no one does that. No one has any fun when we got medics rocket surfing. Yeah. No game does that. I don't know why. Like, I, I have heard about, like, Quake before and their mobility being the reason why TF2 has the mobility it has. And, like, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind any of that. That's fine for me. But, like, Quake Champions has nerfed that down to the floor and, like, we got none of that. Instead, we got... Heroes with abilities, and now bunny hopping is locked to one character, and now you can't bunny hop anymore unless you got that character on your like little introspective. And I just gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. Like, why? Well, you had all the ability to just make like a, a casual shooter with not many hero based elements, but you did it, you made it. Bunny hopping is still possible. Yeah, it is. But only with specific characters. Like, there's a lizard that can bunny hop. And I think she's the only one that can do that. Just makes it easier. Uh, I guess. It's just that it bothers me that there's, like, so much that can be done with a series. But, like, they just turn it into a hero shooter with, like, abilities and stuff. Like, when there's glitches in a game that can be, like, helpful for gameplay, no one touches them because... I don't know. Why? Why don't people like, let, let them be a part of the game? Like, they didn't remove rocket jumping from TF2. And look where that's got them. A fun game. I, I mean, Quake Champions currently is dying. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say that it is. But I bought the Founders Pack, alright? I, I have every right to say, like, it might be dying. Why would it be dying? Well, it's just... It doesn't have the same appeal as it did back then. And nowadays, it's just who has the better, like, hero to clear abilities. If you're playing, like, insta-kill, you choose Doom Guy. Or, like, characters with fast mobility that can lay down traps because, like, it just kills people easily. If you're playing, like, regular competitive setups, like, just... Who is this? Is this Piccolo? Normal walk speed is about three thing, but without the bunny, a character can be reached at seven forty. Yeah. Get out of my sight. Nope. You get out of mine. All right. Okay. Same spirit it is. Alright, how many new enemies do we need right now? 
Uh, I don't think we need any more. I didn't get the skill, it seems. So I guess I can retry now. I'm not sure if it works like that. Grappling hook trick. Even in the mobility in the game, it's more mobility. Yeah. I wish that was just a part of the game in general. Like, I want, like... Like, if you're going to create a character that's mostly based around one topic, like, make it like TF2. Don't give an ability... Don't give a, a character an ultimate. Give the character three weapons... And make the weapons seem samey towards other characters. Like, here, here's the thing about, like, TF2. Every character has a shotgun. Every single character has a shotgun. And I'm not joking about that. Every character has a shotgun in the game. Scout has a scattergun. Pyro has a shotgun. Uh, Soldier has a shotgun. Heavy. Engineer. The only ones that don't have one would probably be a Medic. But he has an SMG. Kind of. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to... We need to find his ability of sorts. I'm killing your son, Gohan. How do you feel about this? Medic, Sniper, and Spy. Demo. But yeah, but what do, what do, like, Medic do? Medic's supposed to be the healer. He's supposed to be the guy that helps out the people. And even if he's not healing, hell, he has his, like, um... He has his Crusader's Crossbow, which is just a one-shot gun. That feels really strong to land. And Sniper? He can, like, land really hard, meaty shots. And what about Demo Man? Freaking grenade pellets that are just really strong. And that makes the characters feel like everyone has a chance to kill each other in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Meanwhile, when I play Scout versus like a bunch of heavies, I can kill them. I can do that. But I have to think tactically and I have to play well. I have to make sure I play well. Because if I don't, like, I'm just going to screw it up and I'm going to die a lot. Oh, and Spy? Well, Spy is just backstab boy. I mean, like, every character has its role. Like, that's the thing. Every character has its role, and, like, every role is filled. And whenever you need to fill that role, you switch to that character. Meanwhile, in a lot of other games, you just choose one character, and that's the character you're staying as, and you're not changing that. Even if you, like, go out of your way to, like, tell the news networks that you're going to change your character, you can't do that. You got to stay as one character, one character only. There he goes. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Ow, ow. Oh. My toes. I try to revive Mr. Gogeta because he's supposed to be helping me for this fight. How can people, like, hold a button for, like, key blasting with a circle button? Okay. Nice. Give me a second here in a red chat. I wonder if we count Kimmel V1 anyone if he is good enough, and that's great. Each character, even in a 1v1, every character is good enough. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I want to feel about it. But, like, when you play a game like Overwatch, you, you finally notice that part where it says, like, your, your team cannot carry without a healer. Meanwhile, in TF2, you can bum rush. You, you don't have to care if you don't have any healers. Oh, the game doesn't even tell you, like, you need healers for this. Like, the game don't need no healers. This ain't competitive. We're just playing to be casual, my boys. Like, who cares? Let's just be crazy. And, like, that's why you always get, like, last-minute pushes and everyone being, like, salty at the end of the day. Because everyone is just last-minute pushing every single day. And it's funny to see that. Just having a fun time.
I'm gonna go visit him and see what he has to say. Okay. Just gotta go visit Guru now. For some reason. That guy's name is photo mode. There it is. <sighs> Mad Milk, Conch, sent whole team somewhere in the medic. Yeah, like you got self sustain, you got self reliability. Like you could just you rely on yourself, and that's all you got to do. It's just the game, it's just the challenge. You don't got to worry about anything, you don't got to worry about anyone. Just be yourself. Big hand that does the whoosh. Whoosh. Raise level to 90. All of the avatars can now be raised up to level 90, even if they have not completed this event. Okay. It's so good, it's banned in most tournaments. Yeah, it, it, it's just really that good. A debuff that causes your enemy team to leech off health, that, that is really bad. You cannot have that in a competitive nature. Because, like, it's, it's just so good. It's too good. Just what it is. It's just too good Too good to play. Too good to not play. I gotta look at my player data. Give me a second here. No decks. Guys, I got a big deck. A big, fat deck. Kind of big fat deck, but yeah, like like that's what I want in a hero shooter. Just simplistic elements that don't push the game to like new boundaries. We're just playing the game to just have fun. Was it was it on complete here? Let me see. let me look at that again. Yeah, it is at max. All right, I'll look at that. I'm tired, man. I'm already tired. Okay, I got God Destruction title. And God Destruction title 2. And God Destruction title level 3. Let's talk. I'll power capsule. Okay. Oh. I, I got a new thing. Dual Symphonic Destruction. Neat. For what? I don't know. That sounds breaching over here. What is it? Shut up. Don't use it downstairs. Not that he wants it. I told you he needs to go down. Okay. Meanwhile, in Overwatch, there are two characters. Interesting movement. Rest. Press for E for a team kill on the other side. Press Q to survive. Yeah, like the characters just become like like staples of what you gotta do. And it's really dumb, because, like, if you want to play a character that's based on mobility... I don't know if we... Like, we have stuff over there for that. I just don't know if it'll block the sound from the outside. I mean, the tape is not gonna... Like, no, not tape, like a rag or blanket. It's covered above. Yeah, I guess do that. Push it more forward, so it's like crumpling up over there. But yeah, it's only Lucio with the Wrecking Ball have interesting movements and Wrecking Balls. Yeah, like, I, I love that about, like, because, like, Overwatch has good ideas. It just has poor execution with its abilities. Like, think about it this way. If a character has the ability to, like, move across the field really quickly, it's going to be bad if the character's heavy or, like, the character's supposed to be, like, a tank. That's why characters like that are just... Okay, guys, give me a second here. Give me a second here, boys. I really... I gotta have a little talk, so I'll be right back.
jumping. all right i'm back uh sadly if you guys hear some noises don't worry about it it's just things happening in my home don't, don't worry about it don't worry about it but uh just in general i think moving options for a heavy class are a bad thing because heavy classes are not supposed to be moving towards the front line that fast and it's kind of why like reinhardt in general doesn't have many like shooting attacks. His main focus is to be a backliner and support the team by putting up a shield. That's how they built him. But then they gave him the mobility options to move forward quickly, and that's what got them, gets them killed most of the time if the team is not moving with him. It, it's a big issue because it's just you gotta you gotta have a lot of focus. You gotta have a lot of like a lot of options there, and you gotta know like is this little thing happening here? Is this person like ready for this? Is this this then? <laughs> Like, Lucio is a great healer, because he could just jump around and, be, and survive forever, and he could cap the point as much as he can. But, there's a big problem. That's just him with those mobility options. Th there is no Reaper that's going to be climbing up the walls with him. And, like, how is he going to be supported if the guy is just across the walls just doing stuff? It's just... It's not because, like, I really hate... The mobility options in, in like in Overwatch is because no one can exploit the movement options as much as any other character. Like Lucio's a support, yes, he's a healer, yes. But tell me, what is the point of having a healer if all he does is walk on walls and gives people speed boosts to like walk around, and he just plays by himself because he's just doing that? I mean, medic might have like the quick fix to just heal quickly and not care about anything else, or the vaccinator to make sure his pocket is not doing badly, but that's his thing. He's still doing his job. He's still being a pocket, and he's making sure that his pocket is doing well. He's making sure that the people he pocket is just actually having health, actually having, like, survivability, and pushing towards the enemy team to get, like, that forward momentum. And if they have, like, the, the like, quick fix, like, they can even be with their soldier boyfriends. Like, it just makes the viability of the weapon just so much great, because no, it makes the viability of the class helpful because it could just help the other team without being far away from them you could even just go back and just it's a quick fix it's, it's a quick fix man and, and that what makes the healer great meanwhile like look i'm not trying to knock down uh, like overwatch general heroes i just feel like there's too many heroes uh, like providing too many n n like niches also, when anything interesting is found, like Genji shooting and yeeting himself across the map with per plain perfect timing, Blizzard said it's not intended, so fuck you. Yeah, and like, that, that's why I hate the most, like, nerfing for the sake of nerfing. And, and it's bothersome, because, like, I expect to have fun. And then, I, I, like, I've been, like, given this hammer, and they say, like, well, you know that fun part that you love so much? Uh, can we just, like, not? Can you just, like, not? And I'm just sitting back here thinking to myself, like, all right, wh why do I even care about playing this game anymore, then? If, if this is how they're going to play, my, this is how they're going to treat my character. Why do I even bother playing this game if, like, I, I just feel like I'm just, this character is always just better. Like, that's why I don't play Overwatch, because why would I play, like, anything if you just have to play Reinhardt? Why if I play the damage hero if nobody's going to choose Reinhardt and I have to choose Reinhardt? Why should I even bother, like, playing this, like, hero that I really would like to try out if I have to play Reinhardt? Same thing with Paladins. There's a hero that focusedly has the ability to buff the damage of every one of his teammates and heal them for a thousand health, which is about, like, uh, 100 health in Overwatch. But he could do that. He could do a group heal. He has a shield. He has a gun that's super powerful. When he buffs up, like, he's a strong hero. But I always have to play him. Because he's the best tank. Objectively. And I hate that. I can't play like Brass Beast Heavy on like a competitive market, but I could. And my medic can play around that. And he can help me out with that with like Vaccinator or like just Uber Charges being quick. And I could like carry some things that like lower my health and he could heal me faster. Who are you talking about? I like Paladins.
like in Paladins. I don't know what a hero is, but he has a shield. He has the ability to roar and give himself like a damage boost and a heal for a thousand. Uh, he also, uh, I, I forget if, like he has, there's cards. So like you don't really have that ability. So you got to make sure the cards are working well as well. Like there's like certain builds, there's certain things you have to always man manage. And like objectively, you have to make the character viable to fight against damage dealers. And he's the only hero. I don't know what the hero is. He isn't, and he isn't meta. Here's the thing. Because of the drafting system. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm more talking about the casual side. Though. There isn't a set meta. I, I'm not talking about like the, the competitive side of my guy. I'm, I'm more talking towards like the casual side. Ever beat the GOAT situation? I, I'd hope there isn't a GOAT situation. It's just that, like, I, I want people to just play and have fun for what they have. I don't want people to play games to just reflect on one thing and one thing only. Just because this should be played like this and this could only be played like this because of reasons. It's just, I, I want to have fun when I play a game. Stamina, basic attack, key blast supers. That is really good, but at the same time, that's a, that's a steep stamina reduction. Oof. It's a large oof. Alright. Got two Broly clothes here. Use for another thing. Uh, no. So, minus health, minus key, minus stamina. My, up basic attack minus this is a really good thing but I really care about my stamina not so much my health but it, it's fine it, it's weird though show me a good QQ bang I I I have I'm wearing a decent one it's more like based on my key at the last of the things it's just not really focused on much else there's another fiber I don't know if I would ever show... Ooh, we got level 3 here. Oh, that is really good. That is really good. Oh, that like lowers my basic attack a lot, but at the same time, that's a really sharp, sharp jump for health and keep last... I might use that. It's it, like It doesn't really boost my basic attacks, but I don't really use my basic attacks. I, I line them up for combos, but that's not what I really do. Besides, my QQ Bang is probably a lot better for more of these. It was level 3 though, so it's not that good. Because I'm trying to look for a level 5 that's really, really good. Oh, there. There it is. A uh, level 5. Okay. Okay. Sensu Bean Sprout. This is... Really bad. Key... My health and stamina are really important. Mostly because, like, health is good, but uh, I just don't want to, like, rely on it so much. Because it, it, is a, it is a hindrance if you don't know how to use it well. There are no more level 5s, are there? Hmm. I have any more level 5 stuff. Well, I can show you the QQ bag I'm using. It's not that bad. It just nerfs a little bit to, uh... Like, just health. Like, a tiny bit of health. But as you can see, everything else is just fine. Gives me a slight, like, key buff. A slight stamina buff. Key Blast Supers just gets a 4. Like, it might not be, like, a 5 buff, but it's decently good. I don't think. Meanwhile, like, I have this QQ Bang, which would be really good. But, uh, like, I, I want to use this. But, like, that basic attack nerf is probably really bad. The health buff is unnecessary, which I, I don't want to use, which is the big thing. Then in casual, nobody cares if you, like, get a tank or not. Uh, I, I personally think that, that that's what ruins a lot of casuals, the casual experiences for me. Because, like, I played Overwatch for a while, and I thought it would be fun to play that game. Then I noticed how competitively everyone got. I knew from the, like, day out that I would, like, try to have fun with this. I would have a ton of fun with this. 
But something always nipped at the back of my neck. It, it's it it constantly goes to the back of my head where I have to think about if I should like be competitively viable or should I just play for having fun. I should not be able to make that choice to myself every single time. When I play TF2, what do I do? I just pick Scout. I don't care. And when I like I see the enemy team being like super powerful and like beating everything I do, I just go like, "Well, you might be cool, but I have a heavy and I'm being cheap now. So I'm just going to auto aim this minigun to your towards your face." And that's all I'm going to do because I'm angry towards only you. And I could do that in TF2 because it doesn't matter. The game feels like it's just like people having fun. Meanwhile, in Overwatch, you got your XP bar, you got your team yelling at you, you got people like acting like retards, you got like constant competitive natures. There's people like, like whenever you try to have like a little bit of like of a casual experience, just walking around like doing little emotes, you can't do that in Overwatch. You have to always be looking for the next May that's gonna shoot you in the head with an icicle. Or like the next Reaper that's going to pop out of nowhere and just be edgy and taunt you when you're dead. And now with the roll key, the only difference between casual and romp is that you gain a lose SR. You got people that report you for playing a certain hero. It's just... It's just... It's so dumb. Like, I, I want to... When I play a game, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a fun time. That's what I'm strictly looking for. But what do I find? Instead, I find constant beratement from my team members. Constant showings that we're not supposed to have fun. People going out of their way to make sure that you're not being an idiot. People saying that you have to choose a healing hero. And you can't like play casually. Hell, I've played a, I've played a match of TF2 where there was absolutely no medics and we still won. The entire team had like several ubered medics. We still won by just pushing up the cart. We also lost multiple times, and we, we had to always cut it to the wire, but we were doing it. Why? Because we were just having fun. And, and like, I lost a lot of times, but I still had fun. I, I didn't care that I lost. I had fun. That's, that's the big thing I want to hammer home. Fun is the big thing that matters. Nothing else does. If a game is not fun, why do I play it? Just to frustrate myself. I need a QQ Bang, which focuses on key and stamina and key blast supers. That, that's what I need now. I wouldn't care so much about health if, like, I got one for key and stamina and also key blast supers. But I haven't found one like that. Well, there is this, but it, like, lowers stamina a lot. <laughs> health, key... Stamina gets a little decrease. Strike supers. It might be good for like a strike build. That's pretty much it. Like I have a lot of these. It's just a lot of them are not really that good. Like this is a really good QQ bang. But like the key minus is just really bad. Like this is the only fiver that has like a small nerf to like uh, one ability. Everything else just gets a nerf to the ground. I don't have much fibers because, like, these fibers are just really bad. It's just that I want to, like, say, if you're playing a game, why should it matter how good you are? I think when you play a game, you should just focus on, like, if you're having fun. If you're not having fun, why play the game in general? Just play something else. And that's what I did. Whenever I played Overwatch, I said to myself, like, I'm going to play Roadhog, and I'm just going to have fun. I get rolled stomp by Maze. I get destroyed by Reapers. I constantly get pushed back by Lucios. I feel like I get sniped by Widowmakers. I get absolutely decimated by Hanzos. Like, what am I, just a big freaking target? And like, yeah, that's what Roadhog's supposed to be, a big freaking target. But, like, I just want to have fun. I just want to go around and, like, have fun. I'm a big target, yeah, but, like, where's my team to support me? Oh, they don't care? Uh, or, or, like, they say, switch to Reinhardt, or else I'm not healing you? Okay. Uh, why can't they play the hero that I think would be fun? Because he's not 
competitively viable. And I hate that. I hate the competitive marketing. Like, no, not the marketing. Competitive nature of video games to creep into the casual part of the game. I hate that especially in video games. Whenever a casual market in a video game comes out, I want that to just be fun. Not competitive. Competitiveness, save that for Counter-Strike. Save that for like 6v6. Save, save that for like, I don't know, anything other than the casual demographic. I'm strictly here to have fun. I'm not here to find someone a bully. Alright, I'm not... <laughs> this game got you too much. In this game, you got so much modders. Hog is really fun. Yeah, it is fun. Like, imagine this. Like, just imagine this. They release a new patch for, like, a uh, Roadhog that gives him a second chain. So instead of, like, throwing the chain and latching and getting an enemy coming in to, like, shoot off their heads, instead, Roadhog throws a chain and he could pull himself up with, like, an anchor. Like, it, it would be fun. That would be fun, like giving Roadhog some mobility. Put it on a, like a long cooldown, I don't care. I, I just want like fun. I want fun in a game. I don't want to have a 6v6. I want to have a 12 versus 12. Anyone can choose any hero, be as many duplicate heroes as you want. I want to see like a whole bunch of Lucios just doing stuff like that. Like, that's fake. That's fake. I know that's fake. That is, uh, that is not real. I, I know real, my boy. I, that isn't real. Don't, don't try to play me like that. <laughs> uh, I'm smarter than you think, my boy. Oh my god, my phone is about to die. I need my charger. <clears throat> That's fun. Yeah, and like, I just want... <laughs> One plus Apple for Roadhog. Is really, is that all they can add to a video game? Is that all they can do for a hero that's just become like a, a joke? Where Reinhardt is just supposed to be the meta and we just, like, Roadhog just exists? <sighs> it, it just, it bothers me that when I play a game, I don't have... Actually, now Orisa Sigma is meta. Like, yeah, it's just put down a shield, stand behind it, and shoot. All right. Now, tell me, what does Orisa also do? Oh, you know what? What if the enemy team shouldn't push forward? I'm going to turn into gold and just block the enemy team from moving any more forward. Why? Because I hate fun. Hey, uh... See those mobility options you got there? No, I'm made of gold. You can't move this. Literally, you cannot move me. Try again. You're charging at me? I'm made of gold. What are you going to do? And I, I had fun playing Arissa for the first time, but then I noticed that like she's supposed to be a roadblock. Like a, a neck holder. She's supposed to stop people from moving forward. She's a bastion on legs. A, a bastion turret mode on legs. And what is, how does that feel to me? It feels like a chore. It feels like I'm just playing a game just to get angry. It feels like I'm just playing a competitive game just to get angry. What is the point? What, what would be the point in all of that? Do I need to get angry to have fun or something? Do I need to just play games that are just infuriating to have fun? Do I need to do that? I, I certainly don't think I need to do that, but it seems like I have to. Why? Because who's going to change the game? You? No. We're playing this how it is. It's just a nightmare. Too quickly recharging tanky shields. It's like, I, I just want to, when I play a game, I want to have fun. And if I'm not having fun, why the hell do I bother? Why? Why would I bother? Is there a reason I should play a video game where the only thing I do is just... Like, no. <sighs> it's just, I, I want to play a game where I don't do anything 
that makes me angry. I want to play a game where all I do is just have fun. How do I do that? Just give me a game, man. Just give me, like, a really fun game. That's all I want. All I want. Pichu. 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 <laughs> play Vans with Zombies. Yeah, I should really play that. Also, the stream seems like it's skipping frames. I did not... Did I, did I see that right? Uh, that, was, that was weird. Yeah. I, I would love to play Vazos of Zombies if it was on PC, man. Vazos of Zombies Garden Warfare and Garden Warfare 2 were a lot of fun to play when I was a kid. And I'm, I still have fun playing them now. Pencil Zombies themes on PC. No, I'm, I'm talking about Garden Warfare. I, I'm more talking about Garden Warfare. Those were like fun just games just to like casually play around. And, and you could just play those. You could just have fun playing those. And, and there was no hassle. It was just playing a game on Origin. Yeah. And I don't want to get Origin because Origin is just a, a hassle. I have, I do have a Garden Warfare... Um, Mars vs. Zombies Battle for Neighbor Bill on my uh, console. I don't want to play it nowadays because like it's just... Ugh, I don't care enough. Pikachu, Pikachu, into transmission. I like how instant transmission takes like a time to reload or something. <laughs> it's just that card and warfare was a lot of fun. Why, why can't games be like that, man? Ow. Alright, give me a second here. Charging my spirit bomb. Boo boo. Oh wow, I killed Goku. Trying to kill his child. <laughs> yeah, Xenoverse, who are you, my boy? Uh, you are Draxing. Oh, hello, my boy. Well, it's a great game. Valve games are in general. Yeah, Valve just like has a lot of love for a series. I, that's why I don't want them to make more video games. I think they've already... I, get, I guess, like, here's the thing. Valve makes great games. They made games with a lot of conviction, except for Artifact. We all know about Artifact. But, like, they try. Did you get better at playing? No, I did not. What Did you really want me to get more competitively viable this game? <laughs> Do you not know who I am? I don't like playing competitively. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> the Kamehameha wave times 10 but yeah you might think this is a bit controversial but I personally think that Valve should refrain from making any new video games it is it's not because like I deeply think that they cannot make a new video game it's more that I think they have their run, and it's better for them to retire while they're still on their high horse. I mean, Artifact was a complete and other flop. Because it was supposed to be a card game about Dota with, like, a marketing behind it where you could, like, actually charge the amount of money for the for the cash in question. And, like, it, it's not that I, I really hate uh, Valve. It's just I think they had their run. Look, if they made, a, if they made another Half-Life game, it, it, like, if they made another game in general... People are going to ask, like, hey, where is Half-Life 3? Where is it? Why Why are you have you not made Half-Life 3? And why is it not here? And to tell you the truth, it's because they don't want to. If they make another Half-Life game, it's not going to live to the expectations people have. People are going to say, like, this game is terrible. Why, why are you making a game like this? Why is this not fun?
Kamehameha wave. Okay. Cocksucker with half-life love. I follow you for two hours now. Where's my prize in order for the best cocksucker? I, I don't know, man. I mean, just doing random skills. It's fine. Half-life. I, I'm just like, I just want to like spill my ideas out there for people that might think that they have like a new thing to like add to it. Because like, it, it would be a lot of fun to see like a new involvement from Valve and see a new game from them to pull out. And I think it would be fun to see that. It, it would not happen, I would tell you that much, because it just, it takes a lot of effort from the team. <sighs> I, what are you trying to say, streamer? I'm just trying to say that video games in general are hard to make, and when they have like a lot of expectations put behind them, it's almost impossible to make sure that you're doing as much as you can to make them great. It, it's not because I think video game making is hard. It's because I think video game making for like a general audience is just not that easy anymore. It would be easier to make a video game that would be a lot of fun if we had that option, but we don't. We just don't. Half-Life 1 and a half. Like, that that would probably be a nice game. Just, like, a, a side series to Half-Life. That, that would probably sell well. That probably would, like, give them the edge to, like, make another Half-Life game. I mean, to this day, we now have naysayers that say Half-Life 2 was a terrible game. We had naysayers back then that says Half-Life 2 lived to, none, lived to zero the expectations that I wanted out of Half-Life 1. A lot of people say that. You know why? Because there's no way to be a bad person in the game. There's no way to be, like, the only person surviving. Like, the story only, co like, continues off because you're a good person now. And even if you do bad things, there's no, no consequences for the bad things you commit. And back in the Half-Life games, like, scientists would stop, like, helping you. The Barney, like, things would shoot you on sight. Like, there's no consequences for bad actions. And why is there no consequences for bad actions? Because, like, the game just wants to be a more hero plotline. And it wants to just be a great game. Not focused on, like, being a bad person, only being a good person. Did you know that Probably? Pro pro Probable? None of us exist. You can be sure about existence. Yeah, Half-Life is just Mass Effect with free choice. Yeah, and, like, you can't replicate that in most of the games because it's just... Probably. There you go. It's just that Half-Life had, like, such a big build-up. It had such a big outcome. A huge cliffhanger. And the sequel delivered. For the niche audience. Everyone else that was, like, it felt like it was a bit of a strange thing. They said, like, this doesn't feel like Half-Life. They said, this doesn't feel like it was fun. This, uh, this is Half-Life? Can I have my money back? This is, does not feel like Half-Life. A lot of people, even though it sold extremely well, were disappointed. Because there's no way to make a perfect game. If we, lo if we send a Half-Life 3 nowadays, there will be backlash. There will be a ton of mobs. There will be hates. There will be spam dislikes. There would be constant rippings against the storylines there would be reviews constantly looking into the smallest little detail that hey this is not okay this should not be done why is this here why do you do this why is the borealis like look like a chicken i like people are gonna find ways to rip it apart why because we live in an age where critical thoughts are the only thing that gives clicks and if everyone is completely negative that's all that people care about if you are negative, you're going to get a high spot on the internet. And that's going to reflect on your game. It's always going to be seen as a negative game. Who wants to hear positive notes about a Half-Life 3 game that's come out recently, even though people have waited for, like, years for another Half-Life game? Nobody wants to hear anything positive out of that. Everyone wants to hate the living hell out of it. Everyone wants. Hello, I'm back. Welcome, Mr. Zaka, again. There's no way of making a perfect game. Gary's mod exists. Gary's mod is, like, the game you want. Well, that's more of a roleplay game. What I'm more talking about is just that, like, 
if you want to make a great game, it's going to be extremely difficult. You're not going to have that much of a ability to make a game that you wanted. Because there's just a lot of factors you got to worry about. I think I have, like, opening invincibility on that attack. Okay, let me look at the comments. The only thing I hate is myself. It's it's okay, man. It's just I'm just trying to be realistic with this whole thoughts for another Half Life game or another like Portal game, another TF2 game, another like another anything, man. I, I'm just trying to be skeptical because like if, the more we, the more we analyze something, is the more we gotta be sure that what we're thinking is correct. Because if we uh, if we just make another game. And we just focus on having it to be fun. People that like care about the story will ask questions. They'll be curious, like, why isn't this like this? People that care about like the world building, why is this here? People that care about like, uh, like lore things, like, why, why is this person talking to this person? Why didn't they hate them? Uh, another TF2 game, another Team Fortress 2 game, <laughs> Team Fortress 2 2, yeah. I'm just talking like, like if we have a Team Fortress three, a Portal three, like it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be far too late. You can make like anything, everything. Do you know you can existence is really like this? My boy, if you want to have an existential crisis on my stream, <laughs> like I, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know how to give you an existential crisis on my stream, my boy. There's like literally no ability for me to do that. And I don't know how to do that. How do I get Super Saiyan Blue, man? I, I want to get Super Saiyan Blue. I maxed out Vegeta and I maxed out Whis. Do I got to max out Goku? I, I hope I don't have to max out Goku. Gohan, here's a Sensu Bean. Sensu bean. That guy's name is, this guy's name is Kevin. Yoner. Neat. Wait, what? Hold on, what is that? <laughs> I feel like I can stand on top of that guy's back and just ride the waves. Imagine Portal 3 being released. It's too late. It's five years late. It's it's more like it's too late in general. You have to max out Beerus. Oh. Max out your dick. Uh, I really have to max out Beerus. Finish your friendship. Uh, really? <laughs> Why Beerus? Of all things, man. So dumb. I said, like my brother said, Whis. <laughs> people on the internet said, uh, like, Vegeta. And, and now people are telling me Beerus. No Beerus, it's just get to level 95. Meme for the Incredibles. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll just do this quickly. This does not combo well. Wow, this, this move is terrible. Wow, this move is actually terrible. It, it does not cancel. Like, that move does not cancel into anything. You can, like, execute a combo and cancel into it. So bad. No, I'm level 99. This is for... <laughs> Whis is for Super Saiyan Blue, and Vegeta is for Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. You telling me you telling me I'm wrong? I'm level ninety nine, so I have all the awoken skills. So I just need to be level ninety five to unlock Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, I'll uh, I'll try to unlock Super Saiyan Blue then. I just have to be level ninety five. Well, I'm currently level 85, so just 10 more levels, which is going to be a, like a real long task because this game is torture. 
But I don't know how to grind for TP medals, so that ain't happening anytime soon. No, just level up. All right. I, I, it's going to be a while, though. Tosok can't really help me because I need TP medals to, like, give him. There's no any good TP grind stuff. I don't know. I guess I can do, like, the quest that Fu gives you. Stuff. Sunglasses of the Turtle Hermit. Zaka, you already did the whole thing about like the donate the fake donation. Please don't be rude to my boys. Come on. I'm caught. <laughs> You're a very cute cot, alright? You're a very cute cot. What a what a nice cot. Oh my god. Atomic blast. Max friendship. Level up. I'm am I cute? Yes, you are. Zaka, please. Just just please calm down, my boy. It's 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 nothing to be worried about. Just Okay. I level up. I am super strong. Now for my Emperor's Death Beam. Time to kill a child. Okay. Bro, chill. And my, my boy, calm down a little bit, would you? It's, it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. It just happens, my boy. It's some, sometimes people can be wrong. Sometimes people can be right. It's okay. Alright. Mr. Virginia. Let's, let's go kill Mr. Virginia. No, no. No, no, vagina. You know, you know, stop me. I just had some sniff. It's fine, my boy. Okay. Trying to kill a child. I usually play with them first. It's okay, my boy. Come on, boys. Calm down. It's just a stream. Well, we can cry about other stuff later. Just like, calm down, boys. It's nothing to be, nothing to be astonished about. Like just, just. Hold your titties. It's, it's fine. Acne from breaking a bed. I, I was just trying to say. Like, it's okay, my boy. Just, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's something on the back of my throat. It's really bothersome. Uh, so... I mean, I, I've been just playing this game for a little bit, and I don't know if you guys, uh... Oh my god, this is, like, the frame rate on this. Uh... Do you guys enjoy, go like, stuff like this? Also, you can see the dark humor. I hope it's not making you uncomfortable shaking my head. It's fine. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not one to care for dark humor. I, I, I like, I don't really care, in general. Like, I'm okay with stuff, it's just I don't want other people to be, like, ashamed about the stream because of uh, certain things that happen. I, like, I don't want, like, a situation where I have to, like, mute the stream because someone is feeling upset over something. Because I, I just want people to have fun while they're in the streams. I wait for every single character to stand up, man. And it's every single character, by the way. Every single one of them has to turn Super Saiyan. So I have to fight four people at once again. Mystic Gohan and... Go tanks with a fucking smile again. It's so fucking gross. I hate this character so much. Yeah, don't start. Don't, don't get smart with me, Gohan. 
can always like back hit. Why? Because he can, apparently. Alright, my boy. Give me a second here. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, streamer? Why are you playing so badly? I don't know, man. <laughs> Screw off. I hate this character so much, man. I hate Gohan in general. I hate Dragon Ball, man. I don't know. I, I really do not like Dragon Ball as a series. It's just... I mean, if you guys like Dragon Ball, you guys like Dragon Ball. I just don't... I don't, I don't find the series any fun. It's not because, like, I find Dragon Ball to just be too pushy. It's just... It's just so likable, man. It's just... I want something that's not likable and fun. Meanwhile, just, like, doing this... Nothing to it. Just toss some balls around. I don't know. Like, I, I want I want opinions in chat, man. I want opinions in chat. How many of you guys are willing to, like, play Dragon Ball for, like, years on end? Personally, I don't feel really strongly about Dragon Ball myself. Like, I want to know how many of you would, like, go out of your way to just have, like, a ton of fun on Dragon Ball just because you want to? None. Well, I, I like I, I actually don't like playing this game. It's just it gets boring after a while, and I do enjoy like playing against like other people because they they think it's fun to play with like the boys, and I think it would be fun to play with the boys. I think it would be fun. But I'm just like grinding missions like this all day. Me, okay. Uh, you do you, Mister Zaka. I, I'm sorry, Mister Zaka, if you like don't like the tone I'm giving you, but like you did false donate on my stream, which is something I don't really. I, I don't really like, I really don't like the reason you fake donated on my stream, and I'm not going to really forgive that, but you do you, man. It's just, I found that to be really be mean, a thing to do, like, I, why, I don't know why you did that. Like, I see that almost on, like, daily, but he, fake donating, you know, like, posting, like, $50, and, like, they said, like, th this person donated $50 to your channel. When I don't not have a bot to tell me that, or like a system or thing, I was joking, man. Yeah, but like I get those jokes daily, and it makes me feel bad because I'm trying to actually have a. I'm sorry, man, but it's just it's a bit overwhelming when I see like people trying to help out my streaming career, but like a lot of other people are just like trying to see the seas of production. It, it like it just makes it gets me on like a really depressing feeling. Because, like, someone could be donating and helping out my dream of, like, streaming and having fun, but that also can be a negative. 50 freaking dollars. Donated a kidney. <laughs> like, you see that? These are funny. You could, you could have done something like that, but, like, no, you just had to do the actual full-on that. No, you... Like, these are funny. This boy donated a kidney. Like, I got a, I got a red bloody kidney on my lap. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know, man. But he donated his goddamn kidney. It tastes like beans. Why does this thing taste like beans? Donated a cock. Why, why would you donate that? No, I'm very funny. I usually eat kidney. I won't use it anyway. You know what you can take my cock to? I don't think I'll be using mine anytime soon. Most are going to be using my ass. But not my, not my penis. Laser. Laser. Can we, can we switch targets now? Switch targets. Switch targets. <laughs> Donated a cock. Thanks for the donation. There, you see? That'd be a lot funnier. I'm more curious why you didn't do that in the first place. 
got chip damage into that one. <clears throat> kind of too late, my boy. Yeah, it is too late, but... I mean... Just... Remember next time, just just try to have fun on the streams. Don't don't try to, like, not have fun. Like, it's the entire, entire reason why I stream in general is just that we have fun, my boy. Cocks are way finnier when they are unexpected. What? Well, no. I think that's called rape. I, I don't think that's supposed to be something you condone, my boy. I think you might be cond condoning rape. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, I think you might be condoning rape. I, guys, he did it. He condemned rape. It's a stream. <laughs> oh, wait, no. How to delete? <laughs> How to delete? How do I delete a message off Facebook? <laughs> Guys, how do I delete a message from Facebook? <laughs> wowie, zowie, now you've done it. Do you know any good places for immigrants? Recipe for sandwich, my grandson. <laughs> you boys are insane. And I enjoy it. This is something I enjoy. <laughs> I got you. I'm charging my own. Oh, no. I'm charging my laser. I wish I had more abilities to just give me key. I wish I just had like... Instinct. How to delete Twitch messages? I know since home is a good place. Why my place? Excuse me. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this a hostage situation? Also, this girl, you can recognize my profile by the pick being a rotten, rootin' tootin' Vladimir Putin. Guys, look, it's rootin' tootin' Mr. Vladimir Putin. Gakia! I'll Gakia! Gakia! Oh, it's so strong. It's this strong, like, big biceps. Uh. Alexa, how do I hide my dildo in my foreskin? What is these jokes, man? These jokes are bad. Your time to die has come. My laser pew pews have no no end to their strength. <laughs> I know I disguise a cock and get there. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> this chat, man. The, these are the boys, all right? The, these are my boys. What happens to the stream? These are the people you look at, all right? What happens on the stream is these boys. These, these people are what happened. Is it good? I don't know. It seems pretty bad to me. Time to die, Bardock. Lasers of the Pew Pew variety. With Putin's face on it. Nice gender. Looks like there's a space helicopter on his Discord profile. Ah, that's a very nice gender. V very cool gender, my guy. Very cool. Very handsome. Very handsome. Oh, no. Time to die, Gohan. Oh, no, Gohan. Oh, no. Oh, no, Gohan. Where'd you go, Gohan? Where'd you go, Han? Press on to enhance metric. Oh, what's this Putin? Time to shoot Goku. Goku gets shoot gun. Goku no live. <laughs> oh wait, it's Putin. It's a Putin copter. <laughs> what is a helicopter made out of Vladimir Putin? What is this? What is this gay shit? Alright. I got a Pokeball just for Blorley. <laughs> just for Barley. Yeah. Yay. 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 What are you, gay? Yay. 
Uh, but, but seriously, guys, like, I, I want to know. I want to know these facts. How many of you guys watched Power Rangers when you were a kid? I want to know this fact. I want to know these these factoids. How many of you boys watch watch the really the really cool Power Rangers? Shoot the fireball. My Broly is dead. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Me, Power Ranger, Mystic Force. No, I just want to know how many of you have watched Power Rangers. Uh, I mean, just in general. I'm not asking, like, if what version of it. I'm just asking in general. Look at the Discord attack helicopter Putin with Rootin' Tootin' below. Mr. Rootin' Tootin' Vladimir Putin. There we go. Time to go kill ourselves a child. Time to go freaking kill a kid. Kill a... It's, it's not kill a kill. It's kill a kid. That's the that's the new series I'm promoting for a new anime. Not kill a kill, kill a kid. Not kill Bill. It's kill a kid. Time to die, Gotenks. Now a child has been destroyed by my pu powerful lasers. What are you doing, streamer? You're just gonna be charging lasers all day. How'd you know? That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> And he's blocking every one of these attacks. Okay, gamer. <laughs> okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Oh, okay. Okay, boomer. <laughs> I, I still not gonna get over that. Like, okay, retard comment. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that. Because that was just too funny to think about. Like, just going up to, like, an old person and said, like, okay, boomer. And, then, like, they just think, like, you just call me a retard? What? You just, you just freaking call me a retard. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why'd you just call me a retard? <laughs> okay, boomer. Oh, no. Ultimate finish KO. But it's true. Yeah, I know. I usually prefer children on a room there, but you're not cold. Not fussy, though. And he killed... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> that is a that that is a uh, dude. That was a pretty dull moment. Gotta say that's a that's a bruh moment. Gotta say that's, that's a real bruh moment. <laughs> that's a, that was a dude. Kind of awkward that moment right there. Can I can I get like six bras in chat? Can I get like six different bras with like different colors in chat? I kind of, I kind of need that right now, my boys. I kind of, I kind of need like six different types of bras in chat right now. They're, uh, but they're not multicolored, man. Nitpicky. <laughs> kind of awkward, gotta say, my guy. Kind of awkward. I gotta say, my boy. That's, that's kind of awkward. It's not a real bro moment. The voices answered item on child into sex deposit. What the fuck? What what the hell are we now? Time to leave. <laughs> I, wait, Matrick, aren't you are you the first one to like talk about like don't you leave? <laughs> Weren't you the first one to talk about a kindergarten? You have to have a hot child. Wait. What's that? What's that animator named? I forget what that animator's name is. <laughs> but let's not talk about it. I know. <laughs> what's that animator's name? I forget what his name is. It's like Skull something. I don't know. He's the animator that draws like lolly porn. And he also draws. He also drew Sonic to be extremely sexually provocative. I forget what he did. It, it was just like he just drew Sonic with like a very hot looking body. And and he gave him like earrings and like very large chest mammaries. Okay, Raditz. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> no. Re TVT Rifle the Great. Fry Frylock. Oh what is this Frylock business? What well, can I say something? Before you know, this will turn into trading hot ones. 
<laughs> Wait, like the show? Like, remember the hot ones? For hot hot questions and even hotter wings. I'm your host, Jimmy Fallon, here, because I took another show off the air, and I'm about to take this one off the ground again. You know why? Because I steal, I steal items. I steal. I steal stuff. No, I mean, kids, what? <laughs> Guys, this whole conversation, kind of awkward, gotta say. Why are you so attractive, kid? <laughs> Masher, why are you so attractive? What is this? What is this, Masher? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want to be mean, but no means no. <laughs> this conversation has gone like different angles and it's already confusing me at this instance. What's with the cheese? How do you feel so chillax about this one? <laughs> Actually, no, but Bulgarian means yes. I'm about to have a Bulgarian in my pants right now. What does that mean? I don't know, man. It means something. I'll, I'll get into, like, what that means later on. I don't know, actually, though. We'll find that out later on the next installment of Dragon Ball Z. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Savage Deku. This is certified bro moment. Dude, yeah. G give me another... Can I have a bra in chat? Can I have, like, three bras in chat right now? I, I need, like, at least three or five. I, I need at least three or five. If I don't at least have three or five at this moment, I'm, I'm going to be upset. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be upset. I need, I need some bras. All right, there it is. Conk, you're taking a two for Dragon Ball Z, more like Dragon Boozy. There you go, boys. I got two bras, two different bras in chat. I need, I need, like, I need like six more. Why? I, I don't know. Just Just give it to me. Just give it to the gamer, all right? Just give it to the gamer. <laughs> Bro, bring me. <laughs> okay, a Conquer, I'm, I'm going to have to ban the word child. I'm going to have to ban the word child. <laughs> and the word kid, just to, like, stop you from using it. <laughs> did, did, did you just stop in the middle of that, Vegeta? What, what, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's time to leave. Have funs in with the chat. <laughs> I hate you guys. This chat has become obsessive. Wait, aren't you a mod? Hold up. Aren't you a mod, Mr. Matcher? Can't you just, like, mute that word? I love this chat. I'm about to. I'm about to make this work for you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, fucking told you. God damn it! I'm giving you that right for a reason. <laughs> there you go. You deleted his entire chat. <laughs> nice. He, he's not muted anymore. He, he's just. We just had to erase that chat from our memories. Like, why did you do that in the first place? That's my question. <laughs> now we're clean. We have now erased all semblance of those memories from our entire brains. It does not exist, for we are one. We are many. We are but one. Times four... But what if chat logs, guys? I'm about to, I'm about to destroy every chat log. Nice. Ah, oh, come on! I used an evasive. What the fuck? Shoot the Kaioken. I'm tired. My character be tired. I'd be tired all the time. There you go. Now they're dead. Now everyone's dead. Why is everyone dead? I will put my in my head. What? Stop! I can only get so erect. Think about the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that on memes, alright? You just got <laughs> He just like fucking died. 
<laughs> he just overreacted to the entire thing. That boy just died immediately. How, how does this happen? I check. He, like, literally, this boy just set up the joke and just had to knock him down. <laughs> this entire joke has been a, a giant setup. And it just works. It just works. It, it, just Tom Howard here. It just works. It just works. I do believe I am dead. <laughs> I do believe I am dead. Morbidly obese. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> no. Big soup rice. You are dead. No, not big surprise. <laughs> oh, this shot is amazing. At the same time, very cringe. Gotta say, guys, a uh, guys, a real cringe moment, guys. Gotta, gotta admit, boys, you got you guys are having a real cringe moment here. I, I don't know what to say, boys. I feel kind of cringe, kind of cringe, my guy, kind of cringe. Gotta say, boys, feeling kind of cringe about this chat. Why is Vegito stronger than v Vagina? V vagina. Big ball of blast. There you go. He's dead now. Now to kill a child. Mr. Gotenks, it's time for you to die. Even though you are fused, I refuse to let you live. You think you mean to fuck me? <laughs> Who sent all these babies to fight me? And dropped three viewers. Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> It says two, actually. Why is my counter says five? My counter just jumps to five for some reason. My counter's still on five. I, I don't know why it's at five. I'm out. You think you mean to fuck me? Why does my counter say five? You were at eight viewers. Yeah, it's fine. My counter still says five. I don't know what those five are. It must be broken. It says 2 on my phone, and it says 5 on the screen. My alt U <laughs> match. My alt. <laughs> what alt? Multiple alts on one stream. Quality stuff here. Quality stuff, my boys. Qual quality. Very quality here. I want this ability saying spirit, because it's a really good attack. Alternate therapy. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get Frieza. You know what? I'm gonna get Frieza here. I'm gonna get full power Frieza. And I'm gonna get like a uh, golden Frieza. Where's golden Frieza? There it is. Because she wants. He. Not not she. He. It's real. <laughs> Ban the teams. <laughs> nice. It's real. Ah, my butt. Owie, wowie. Owie, zowie. <laughs> Guys, it's time to charge up my body. Ha ha, enjoy. Okay. Hee hee dee, ha ha. More, more of a matter on time. Oh, do. How did Raditz not die there? Excuse me. Did. Okay. I did not know he knew that attack. <laughs> you can say "ug," but you can't. <laughs> but you can say "dicks" are good for eating them. Increases your bone strength. Yes. And why would you want to eat a detective, though? I. Like this is the weird thing about you guys, like talking about dicks. I, like detectives aren't very viable these days. They're just people. I, they don't do much. I mean, I haven't really met a detective these days that are. Has done much for the country. They just solve mysteries. Not much else. I mean, have you seen detectives? They're pretty much obsolete by just the police force in general. But eating them, like... I understand, like, the the main appeal of, like, cannibalism. But at the same time, you, you know, that's, that's kind of awkward. It's kind of awkward to have, like, cannibalism here. Oh, boy. Like, it's kind of awkward that you guys just have cannibalism here. You mean, have you seen my dick? Does that mean it's useless? I mean, have you... Well, I, I didn't know you had a detective, man. Like, show me who he is. 
<laughs> you what? Or like, like, what's his name? Maybe I can contact him on phone. Maybe he can like solve the mystery of my lost cat for the 15th time. I've lost my cat. I need help. Also, I wonder what Twitch staff thinks of the words <laughs> to see the ban words. Okay, I'm going to send a pic on Discord. No, don't do that. I will fucking ban you. I will actually ban you if you send a picture of your dick. I will actually ban you. I'm not fucking kidding. Do not do that. I am dead serious. Do not fucking do that. I'll be angry. I'll be actually upset. Mr. Frieza, why are you so strong? We have the technology. I mean, I hope he can't. <laughs> I, I hope so too, my point. I, I really hope so too. I am a low level, but I can still play. Uh, J47. First, I will send you a pic of my ass, okay? What the fuck is this conversation? Yeah, that seems appropriate. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, my boy, if you want to play with me, I'm on, a, on, I'm on the Xbox One. If you want to play on me on the Xbox One, we can play on that. Uh, but if you do not have an Xbox One, sadly, I will not be able to play you because of reasons of that. But if you do have an Xbox One, we can play. Uh, just log into your Xbox One. We could just have a little match. Uh, just don't worry about playing uh, competitively. I mean, I'm not I'm not a competitive guy. So if you just want to have fun, we we could just have fun. I'm not I'm not really here to have a competitive like strat every single day. I'm I'm just trying to play a game in general. <laughs> Nothing much really. That was fast. Yeah, don't worry about it if you want to be competitively viable on my stream. You just you, you don't have to. Just have fun. That's all I'm trying to say. Just have some fun on stream. And if you want to be competitive, man, just go to another stream. This this place is not a competitive environment. What we are here is just boys. We're just boys that love a little love a little dick here and there. We'll love to get a little cock here and there. We'll love to eat some cock here and there. What if I'm actually an FBI agent testing your sensitivity about dark jokes? Well, you're tense. Well, you can't arrest me for testing my sensitivity on topics. If you're trying to arrest me on how I feel about certain dark jokes, I uh, well, you found out. I don't think you can arrest me for something like that, but you can certainly like draw your conclusions due to that. It just, I don't think you could do anything about it. FBI agents are supposed to like track down terrorists and. I am not a terrorist. I might be like uh, of a different nationality than most other people, but I am not a terrorist. I was born in this country. No. Okay. Let me just look at this. Can I see? Then you're revealing. You. <laughs> then you are bad for revealing your identity. My dick alone. Nice. <laughs> then I won't show you my collection of skulls. A really weird thing to have a collection about. Uh, I'm trying to get the move from Bardock, man. Bardock has the Super Saiyan Slam move, and I want to get it. <laughs> so I, I guess J47 doesn't really want to play uh, on stream. It's fine. He, he he has his fun, right? You have you have your fun. Ba ba, Pokeball, 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 Pokeball. I got a lot of Pokeballs. <laughs> Super Saiyan Slam sounds like the hard penny tactic. Oh, well, it more sounds like a. You know. Hold up. What? What if? 
I, I saw this on Robot Chicken, all right? Like, Superman, like, blew out the head of Lois Lane because she had to give him a blowjob. And uh, Lois Lane died that day because, well, she had a head, like, a bullet shot through her head. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it killed her because, like, Superman is too strong. And whenever he shoots a nut, it's like it's shooting a speeding bullet through her head. And it freaking killed her. The back of her jaw is probably destroyed. That or her, like, spinal region has been fractured because of it. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad she's in the hospital because she was giving Superman a blowjob. F. Pay your respects. I mean, that would be the same with Chi-Chi, wouldn't it? Or, like, Android 18. Well, Android 18 is an android, so I think she could be able to, like, to withstand the blow like that. Because she's, she's an android. Uh, what about um, just Vegeta and Bulma? Yeah, that, that would definitely not work. Because she's human. She has not trained a day in her life. And she's probably super fragile, honestly. Man could come shot anyone to death. Kunst is send an ass pick on the server, but it was safe for work. Did you send a donkey? What is this? What is this comedy hour? Why are you be sending donkeys on my server? What is this? Shrek movie? Is this the Shrek movie? Well, isn't Shrek already a movie? Yeah, but like, come on, this joke was supposed to be funny and you already ruined it. You ruined my joke. It was supposed to be funny. Now it's not funny anymore. <laughs> v vagina. Mr. Mister Vagina, would you like to speak about our Lord and Savior, the, the cheeky my walk? The cheeky my walk is a new species of dinosaur and has come to the world to eat your spaghetti. Look at this man. Look, look at this. Look at this posing dude. Look at this. Look at this bro. Ha 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 ha. Why are you laughing in my chat? What is this? This is the most people would fab to it. I think Android 21 is the perfect Dragon Ball Z character. No. 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 Not no. 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 Like no. No. Like no. You know which yeah, I know who she is. She's in DBZ fighters and no. No. Like no. Sub, it's a big no. That's a big, that's a big no. That's a, that's a, that's a no for me. That's a no from me, fam. That's got, that's got to be a no, no. That's, 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 that's a no. That's, that's a no. That's, that's, that's a no. That's a no. That's, that's a no, my guy. I can't. <laughs> when you say no, I say big nut. All right, I'll, I'll stop saying it then. But, like, please, do not, like, waifu eyes like Android 21. She's, like, a terrible character. Her entire thing is that she was, like, a designed to eat androids and get powers like Boo. But, like, she's also bad at it. Well, not really bad at it. She's, like, the only creature that has the power to destroy everyone else. She has the ability to turn people into candy, but... It's beside the point. She has a huge rack for no reason. Why does she have a huge rack? Like, why? Why do you need a huge rack? I don't understand. But she's also a wife. I no, like no. Why? Why does she need a rack the size of the moon? She doesn't need a huge rack at all. She doesn't. I, I'm telling you now. Zin is gay, so he don't take female opinion into consideration. Oh, you're telling me girls want to have, like, a huge rack all the time. You're telling me a girl wants to wear, like, the tightest fitting clothes in the entire world. And have the most uncomfortable, like, line pain across her chest the entire day through. Or, like, have markings across her neck every day because she's wearing the tightest clothes she can to show off her boobs. You're telling me that that's 100% what we, what we want. I don't think so. I think that's, that's dumb. 
I think that's dumb. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's dumb. Laser. That's not a laser. The fuck? Yeah, but I don't know if you know, but women do not have balls, so tight clothes ain't, aren't really that bad. It's not It's not about the balls things, man. Like, it's just... I think it would just be bad. I mean, you got boobs, right? Those squishing together? Does that feel good? Does that feel enjoyable? Have some just squished together constantly? Sounds comfy. <laughs> I'm angry. I'm angry right now. I'm upset. I'm gonna cry now. I'm gonna go cry. I'm gonna go have, like, to make myself a bath and just cry, guys. It's crying time. I mean, most women actually get horny from getting their boobs squashed, so... <laughs> Fine. You, you can have your argument, alright? I, I don't know if, like, this is real or not, but it just bothers me. Like, everything has to be so sexualized for everything. Like, look at my character, alright? She doesn't even have big breasts. I wanted to make a big titty goth, and I, I couldn't make a big titty goth, alright? I wanted to make this for the stream. I wanted to make the biggest big titty goth in the world just because I wanted to meme on you boys. But then I couldn't. Because this character can't have bigger boobs than what she already has. And that made me upset. Not not really, but like, it, I wanted to do that. Oh, you fucking perfect blocked me. Alright. We'll see how that accomplishes. hot <laughs> it's not hot it's dumb 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 it's dumb i didn't get a single i want sane spirit man i want to have the spirit of the same i want to have a spirit bomb i want a spirit bomb my asshole I want to spirit bomb you guys. I want to bomb you. I want to, I want to tackle you guys and bomb you. I want to throw you into a pit and activate a bomb. That's what I want to do. Zigzag express. I'm going to zigzag my cock into people's asses. Seven asses. Seven asses. Give me a vagina. Give me another vagina. Thoughts. All of you. The lot of you are big fat thoughts. Can't believe this is my chat. A bunch of thoughts. <laughs> Wait, isn't the word thought now banned from Twitch? I think so, right? I think the word thought is banned from Twitch. Because people used it a lot to like, no, you thought. Okay, I might be a thought, but come on. Guys, come on. Can't be calling me that. I'll, I'll get you guys banned. Don't do it. Come on, guys. You can't be calling me a thought right now. It's not nice. <laughs> Captain Ginyu. Oh, no, guys. I got hurt by Mr. Captain Ginyu. I fell onto the floor due to Captain Ginyu. Wait, hold up. Is that Goku Captain Ginyu? What the fuck? Excuse me. What? I used my key to enlarge my shields. Bah, bah. Oh no, guys. I'm gonna do the attack now. Oh, that didn't work. Nice. Thought six viewers. <laughs> well, I'm about to spank you right now. I'm about to spank this boy. Why? I don't know. I just wanna. <laughs> Streamer, what are these comments? I don't know. I already lost myself a couple years ago. Where is this going? I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew where this is going. But I don't. It bothers me, man. It bothers me where this is going. I'm not enjoying the trip. On my favorite rocket ship. Flying through the sky. Little Einstein's. <laughs> Come on board, we're ready to explore. There's so much to find. Little 
Thanks, thanks. Ah! <laughs> Be confetti blast. Do I have rainbows with them? Will I have this like hyper potential unleashed garbage? Android 18, don't do a Vegeta again. Don't pull another Vegeta on Vegeta. My planets call me. Why? You have planets? Why don't I have a planet? Why? Why does Matro get a planet? Why don't I get a planet? What is this? What is this Hippocratic Oath where I don't get a planet? I want a planet. <laughs> he has multiple. He says planets because I'm a cool man. No, you're not. I want a planet. You're cheating, alright? You're cheating. You can't be doing this. This is not okay. I want a planet. It's not nice. I want a planet. Oh, you gotta cheat. Why well, you gotta cheat like this, my boy? You gotta cheat. Pachu. 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 Pokeball. Pokeball, go. <laughs> now he's dead. Alright, boys, it's time to be gamer. It's time to be real gamer. It's time to go kill Cell. Why? Because he's been stealing my mom's virginity. What? Okay, these jokes have already gone so badly enough that I'm already questioning them. So can we, like, refrain from ever having jokes on this stream? Yeah, I'm gonna probably do that. I'm gonna probably follow on that little statement. Where jokes are now banned from the stream? Why? Because they don't make any coherent sense. So I'm not gonna have any more because they're it's just not make sense anymore. Alright, boys. I'm trying to travel to the sun. Don't look up my character's skirt, by the way. That's not nice, boys. I said look away. Why Why'd you guys keep looking up there? Come on. Have tastes. Be tasteful. Come on. Don't don't be untasteful right now. It's upsetting. Come on, boys. Ha have a, have a redeeming quality right now. Ha have redeem, redeem quality. Come on. Hercule, he's the man of the town, and there's Boo Boo, cause he's he's got a big frown, and he's a dude. He's got a big thigh, and he's got strong manly muscles. That's why. Final explosion. Doesn't this seem familiar? Oh no, guys, I shoot him through the air and now I shoot him with lasers. Now he's dead. Time to charge my key again. For like the 50th time in a row where I'm just doing like one attack over and over and over. Also, why am I fighting... What? Alright, hold up. I gotta put this up. Because apparently I'm getting attacked by all, all directions here. Oh, would you look at that? Everyone died. I, I did not notice that. I, I sincerely did not notice that everyone died. Well, I guess I'll have to kill everyone here. For for what reason? I'm not sure. But I'm going to have to kill someone. Yeah, you know, murder has to be solved somehow. Okay. Okay. What the actual hell, dude? Come on. Don't do that. Alright, it's time for the next man. Mr. Gotenks. I gotta go kill a child again. Gotta go punch a kid in the face. Because he's doing the silly. Okay. He's a dummy. That's why I'm gonna be pushing him around with my dummy thick thighs. My name is Dummy Thick. I've come to kick your ass. You are more than welcome to feast on your death, for I am Mr. Dummy Thick. Okay, I took a lot of damage there, but I'm, I'm going to still rise up and I'm going to punch him in the nuts. Let me see. Uh, there's nothing new in chat. Dropped down to two viewers. Congratulations, me. I dropped down very fast. This was a nice stream while it lasted. <laughs> Oh, just chocolate rain. I remember those days. Chocolate rain. I I remember finding it for the first time. I was like, what is this? This is weird. I think I didn't find YouTube for a while, actually. I was more like accustomed to Newgrounds than YouTube myself. It was so weird to like find YouTube of all things. 
it was just, it was so odd. <laughs> like, imagine, like, growing up in those days and you just didn't have use of just have, like, uh, new grounds. Have you ever used new grounds? I, I really like using new grounds myself. Why? Because it was funny. Not really, but you know what I mean. Nice going, pal. I blocked every one of your attacks with all my key bars. What does that mean? It means I wasted all of my key blocking your attacks just to show off. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good idea. That's that's where you're right. It was a terrible idea. I want ill flash, man. I want ill flash. Okay. What's with the ill rain? Come on, alright, I'll shoot ill rain for you, huh? How the how's that? <laughs> you like it when I spam ill rain? Okay. I I'm just playing badly. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't want to play this game. You think I want to play this? I got a fishing game, alright? I got a fishing game on my, like, PlayStation console. I want to play a fishing game. <laughs> How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel about the situation? It makes you feel pretty silly, don't it? Nice going, pal. I'm gonna kick your butt. There you go. Can I revive my friends now? Yes, I can. I want to play a fishing game. It'll be fun. You tell me playing a fishing game wouldn't be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I personally think. Come on, what are you doing? Why are you yelling at me? I'm trying my best. You guys are the ones that died, not me. Like, why don't you guys pay attention, huh? Gamers. That's right, I'm calling you out, gamers, for not being real, alright? You're not an oppressed race. I'm oppressed. Why? Because I'm... I'm a furry gamer. I'm an oppressed race. You guys aren't real. Furries are the ones that are oppressed. I gotta say, you boys, why you gotta be lying to everyone about, like, oppressed races when you don't know about the ones closest to you? Into a punch, into a dodge, into another punch, into another punch, because this boy just wants to be an actual, literal tumor in my head. He's a tumor. It is, it is not actually a tumor. It is actually a tumor. It's a tumor. Look, you look at my tumor. Okay, Teen Gohan, please die. There you go. Now it's time for you to die, Mr. Prince Destruction Virginia. Oh, he doesn't have protection on that like Mira does. Well, he doesn't have protection on that attack. That is, what did we learn today? He does not have protection on that attack. There you go. And um, to finish him off. There it is. That's how that's how gamers roll. That's how us gamers. I don't know. Neuter our children. What? 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 Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Of all things, I could have said like neuter your dogs, neuter your cats, neuter your hamsters. Out of all the things, I gotta say that. Like, why? Don't say that. What the hell? What the actual hell streamer? Oh my god. Why did I say that of all things? I have a problem, man. I have help. Help, I have problem. I have problem. Help stream. How do I get that move? And I don't get spirit of the like the saying. I got that. The one thing I don't care about, but I get it. But I don't get the What is this game made out of? Candy? Because as long as I'm tasting it, it seems like it's been expired for three months. <laughs> the more I taste it, it seems like an expiration date is getting more and more by the years. That person's name is Ruby, by the way. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. This guy's name is Wolf. But does he look like a furry? I mean, why does he have the dots on his head? <laughs> don't understand. His name is Richie. He's, he's rich. This guy's called Niall. 
He's like a human. I don't know. Is he a human? Does he have human genes? Can you make a bald Super Saiyan? Is that possible? I think that would be possible, right? Like, a bald Super Saiyan? It would just be weird, I would think, probably. <laughs> Parent and child. Oh my god, this is just it's becoming the worst missions after worst missions, my boy. It's just why is it gotta be parent and child? Last Emperor. Emperor of Last. Isn't Last Emperor like an ultimate move? What is this? Oh my fucking lord, really. I kinda wanna do this move more because like Emperor's Blast seems like a cool like thing, but I don't have access to Emperor's Blast because you know reasons and gaming and stuff. But you know, do the stuff, do the silly, do the silly dance, do the Fortnite dance, guys. You want to see me do a Fortnite dance? It'll be really silly, I promise. Do the Fortnite, do the, do the floss, Mister Floss, Mister Flossman. Give me a floss, Mister Flossman. Can I do the Fortnite, Mister Flossman? Give me a victory royale tonight. I want to play a game so I can get my V bucks, <laughs> Mister Flossman. Can I have, can I have a win, Mr. Flossman? I want to make sure I win. This guy's called his Renamon. It's not even a Pokemon. It's not, it's not even a real Pokemon. Time to die. Now switch targets. <laughs> Why don't you switch targets? Why can't you switch targets? I don't know. Also, big blast. Big cum blast. Cum blast. Cum blast cannon. Making sure that all my favorites are being adjourned for in my cum workshop. Guys, you want to see my cum? That would be really funny, I promise. <laughs> really funny, I promise. Why is that red? Because they're enemies. Oh, I get it. You know, because enemies are evil and the evil color is red. Because, like, violence is red and red is blood and it means bad things whenever you see the color red. And, like, bulls run into the color red not because they, they can actually see the color red. It's because of the motion of the cape. But, like, that's beside the point. The color red, dude. It's all about the color red. Look at me use a blue cape now against, a, like, a thing. And look how nothing happens. <laughs> Where is this conversation going? Somewhere, I hope. Somewhere. It's going nowhere. I mean, I already lost the map. And we're, we're already playing Dora the Explorer now, we're, if we already lost the map. Dora, Dora, Dora. It's the Explorer. Super cool. Explorer, Dora. Okay, charge your key, Mr. Streamer. Time to do a, a referee. Of, of, do backflip. You guys ever played Fallout? Never played Fallout 1. Fallout 2, Fallout Tactical, whatever. I haven't played those games. I, I have the discs for them. Yes, I do have the actual discs for Fallout 1 and 2. I'm not joking about that. And Tactics. Uh, I think it's called Tactics. But, like, I do have those discs. Why? I don't know, but I do have them. I, I, I do not know why I have them, but I do have them. Have you played them? No. I have not played them. Why? Like, it's... I, I don't actually know why I haven't played them. It's just... I just haven't. <laughs> I wish I did play them, though. It would be fun. I, I would think it would be fun. I'm not sure if it would be fun. Okay. Time to die, do 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 the homer sh no <laughs> no do, do the homer nothing what's this homer business this ain't only place what is this this isn't Tony place this isn't video game donkey guys keep shooting him you got him on the ropes i'll get him with my rope So what is Super Vanishing Ball supposed to be? A big ball of vanishing energy. It looks very uh, barbaric, yes. But at the same time, it's a ball. A Super Vanishing Ball. As you can see, it caused that entire mountain to vanish in an instant. Also, these giant spires of just actual stone worry me. Because I, I don't expect trees to actually grow like this. 
And if that entire like big thing right there is a tree, you, you got me. I didn't know that. And you, you got me. All right, you got me. First aid kit. Oh, you gave me a first aid. Okay, Mr. Wasteland. All right, boys. It's time to go into the desert and just like go find some uh, some birds. Why? Because we're gonna cook ourselves with a needle, and it's called a uh, kill kill the gamers. Mercy killing gamers. It's called a game. What are we doing here? We're punching people, all right? We're punching. We're punching the streamer. Oh, no, guys. I've been hit with an ultimate attack by uh, that guy. Did he just miss? I did. did okay, I, I think I just got hit again. Did, did, did I just get hit by soul explosion? What is happening right now? What what is actually happening? I don't know. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna like make monkey noises for like the next part of the next stream because I don't know what the hell is happening. I'm just like making constant monkey noises. I don't. Oh, okay. Thank you for hitting the person behind me because I didn't see that. I... I, 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 like, I gotta make those monkey noises now. I gotta make the... Oh! 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 Ah! My nuts. No. There you go. Now he's dead. Material item gains. At least. Yeah, I got an equipment. Ah, yeah. There's a Kamehameha beam. Oh, yeah. Makes me, makes me turn on my dick. What the actual hell? Ah, oh, yeah, suck it, gamer. Ah, help me. <laughs> help me, drunk. It's time to die, gamer. Time to die, gamer. Okay. Why Why do I like the, the bots for the players? Why are they so good? I don't understand why they are so good. But they are. I, I wish I knew why. But they are. Laser. Also, this, if Trunk dies, hold up. If Trunk dies, it's the end of the mission, right? So should I? Should I kill Trunks? Is is that my is that my ultimate objective to murder a child? Dude, this, is, this seems. This does not seem very family friendly. Ah! Time stop, Malta. Now I am dead. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hakai. No, no Hakai. What is this? Get out of here. Gamer, what is this? Alright. No gaming. No gaming. Is that everyone? No, Trunks is fighting something else. Okay. Very, very strong man here. Hit him with key blast. He does, he's not that strong anymore. He's not a strong man anymore. Because now he's dead. Alright, now I gotta heal anyone. I don't know what I got, by the way. I'm just... I'm just looking at the bottom text. Also, I'm gonna think, like, if Trunks dies, is the end of the mission. I don't know why I wasted an item then. If, like, that's, that's how it works. But it probably is not how it works. I'm, I hope it's not how it works. But if it does, like, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be genuinely upset. But if it is, like, a eh, gamer... Okay, Mr. Earth Assignment, we'll, we'll go on a, a killing spree right now. Mr. Cool, oh, give me a meme, Mr. Cool Man. Give me the seams. All right, I'm, I'm just killing Frieza at the moment, so let me, let me go. Uh, let me go murder this man here that uh, had the dream to rule the universe, but at the same time just died. I think you got the wrong person. Yeah, you did. Ha ha, no, your face permanently etched into my memory. You seem shorter. Oh, it's because I don't know what you're rambling on about, but if you want a butt kicking, I'll give you one. I'm going to kick your butt. I'm going to kick you in the balls, and then I lick your face. Because I'm weird like that. I, I like kissing people in the nuts. <laughs> I like kissing people's nuts when I fight them. <laughs> I bet my... Softest part of my body is stronger than your hardest part of your body. Observe! <laughs> I 
<laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I will do it again. Second time. Ah, oh, disgusting. Burst Kamehameha. Oh, I heard about this move. I heard this move is actually overused. Should I use it? I think I should, because it's overpowered. Should I use the Burst Kamehameha wave? That sounds like a good... Uh, that sounds like a good idea. A good idea. Yeah, that just sounds like a good idea right there. I'll tell you what, that sounds like the best idea I ever had. How would you ever think about anything else when you got something like this? Coming over here, leave the rest to me. Oh, no. I'll, uh, I'll leave nothing to you. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll throw this Pokeball. I'm going I'm to toss in my Pokeballs here. Also, why are you just ripping off reality right now, my, my, my titular man? You seem to just be trying to rip reality asunder. It's unlikely to let my guard. I have exercise for a while. Now, let me finish. <laughs> no, let me finish this. Guys... Frieza doesn't need to train because he's pompous. And, like, the series would benefit from him not training because if he were to train, he'd become too strong. And the entire, like, world would be destroyed by his super powerful body. You know, that's why we're not letting him train a lot because, like, it's, it's beneath his character. It's beneath him to even try to train. Why? Because, like, we're, we're a design artist and, like, Making someone humble and changing their orientation of heart is really hard, and I don't want Frieza to become a hero. He should be a villain forever. Why? I don't know why. Swole Frieza. M Mr. Swole Freezer. Oh, where did I... Okay. Completely Miss. Yes, that is me. What's your name, my good man? My name is Completely Miss. What do you do? I completely miss. What? Yes. Did you miss the point of this show? Yes. Then why are you here? I don't know. I missed my entrance. Yeah, you are like the fifth person supposed to be meeting here. Why are you the first? I don't understand this. I don't know. I missed the, the line. I missed the dotted line. I missed it. I, I'm, I'm a miss for words. Time to die, Freezer. Okay. Where, where did he... Okay. <laughs> I've lost the location of Mr. Golden Frieza. May I please procure you to ask where Golden Frieza has been located so I may destroy his life and maybe destroy his kidneys. Is that an evasive skill? Like the evasive skill to like push stuff aside. Also, I really like the rose petals on his design on this. Or, or like the, I think they are rose petals. I don't know. I like calling them rose petals. They're really cute looking. I don't know. It's like the whole, like, a Japanese warrior aesthetic where, like, rose petals fall to the ground when they're fighting. Yeah, no, I got key. All right, I got key. I got balls of steel, too. It's neat. Golden Freed is getting shot by bullets, and now I am going to shoot him with my big fat cock. Get ready, boys. Time for the cock meat surprise. <laughs> Ow! I got shot. My cock meat is too strong. Guys, you want to see my cock meat? What is this? You guys want to see my cock meat? It's funny. Okay, laser time. Why, why am I shooting lasers at him? Because, like, it's funny. God damn it, Frieza. Just die already. For God's sakes, man. You just, just die, please. Like, I nothing here for you. Just die, please. Is he done? Is he finished? No, there's more to this. Of course there's more to this. Now it's time to dole out some vengeance. Alright, he's he's back and fully healed. Or he's going somewhere else, obviously. Because you know that's, that's what we do here. That's what we do. Oh! Oh, it's just a mission where we just go kill other people. Okay. So we trained with Frieza to make him really strong. So... Now we're going to go kill some people with Frieza. Okay, let's, let's go murder some civilians. Why? Because we're Frieza. And we can literally destroy the world with one, like, good punch into, like, the nuts. We'll go punch someone real in the nuts. Is Goku going to come? No, it's Jaco. 
These, those ones are persistent. Why, why is Jaco of all things going over here? Why? All right. Reason, I'm, I'm out of here. Okay. Why'd you come here in the first place? Of all things, why did Jaco have to come out here? He's like literally the second Hercule. Power that is beyond a Super Saiyan God. Okay. I'll go easy on you. Okay. I mean, I, I did not expect that to happen, but if you want to, like, just say that out loud, like, you, you do you, my boy. You do you. I'm shooting lasers at you, though. Like, you're going to have to dodge these if you want to get any closer to Mr. <laughs> Mr. Freezer. Because he's very strong, and he's also golden. You know, is Frieza, like, his design, is it based on, like, Japanese mythology? Uh, like, what type of mythology are we talking about? Like, samurai? Or, like, I don't know. Because we're talking, like, pompous samurai, I, I, I kind of see that. Because he's really a pompous guy. And he, like, I, I would see, like, the pompous samurai aesthetic because of his power. Uh, any other things than that, I wouldn't really see much else. Because he's just a guy that's really evil. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, fam. I think I got a shield just for you. There you go. Time to charge up my being and kill Vagina. Or Virginia. Or Vagabond. Or Ventilation Shaft. Or Vsauce. Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. Where are your fingers? Where are your hands? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your toes? See, they're at your feet. So look down. That's right. Now that's my penis. There you go. That's my toes. Don't look at my penis now. It's, it's not, I'm, I'm not allowed to take my penis out to court. Jacob State of the Art Radio. Okay. Freeze the siege against the earth. Why am I playing this, man? This is boring. This is really boring. I'm going to play my fishing game. All right. Um, boys, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing this. But uh, if you guys are, are here for a lot of more Dragon Ball stuff, like Dragon Ball Super stuff, I'm sorry, but I had enough. So if you guys would like to watch any more else of this stream, uh, just cut it here because I, I will not be playing any more Dragon Balls for today. I will later today, I will be playing uh, a fishing game. Why? Just because I can. So why would you just play the fishing game streamer instead of playing this? Well, because I want to play something else today. So I'm going to go play a fishing game. You boys can like take a few times, like go out there and do some stuff. I just want to try out this fishing game. If it's really bad, I'll come back to here and I'll play some more Dragon Ball for you boys just to have a little chat with you, with you guys. Check meme server. I um, I made a meme. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna do that though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to a fishing game because I want to play some fishing. I had enough of Dragon Ball for today. If it's really bad, I'll come back. If it's not, then I, I won't do anything. Whatever. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, just. Take a break, guys, if you don't want to watch a fishing stream. And if you do want to watch a fishing stream, just stay tuned. Well, we'll get right on it.